Talk with us. What was on your mind? Current events, news, um, anything? Yeah, I was uh, thinking of starting uh, with uh, the destruction of America. Okay. <laughs> the destruction of America. The first uh, scripture that I thought about was. Good topic. Uh, yeah, right. Was uh, the book of uh, Revelation 18 and 21. And by the way, uh, Vocab Malone, you did a terrible job trying to break down uh, the book of Revelation, uh, what is it, the 13th chapter? I think How do you break it down? What do you do? That man don't know nothing about, about them. Yeah, about trying to, disease, man. I think it was Revelation, the 13th chapter. Yeah, because he was trying to get to the uh, verse where it says, uh, um, uh, he leadeth into... He that leadeth into captivity Temple. shall go into captivity. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about the captivity of Yahweh Shai, you know, the captive to the ministry. And, and that has nothing to do, Revelation 13, 9 and 10, has nothing to do with the, the captivity of Yahweh Shai. He's talking about actual captivity, slavery. He's making it up as he goes along. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Revelation, I'll start uh, by reading Revelation 18. You know what I'm going to say. Start at one. Okay. I Revelation. mean, we know it. We should know it, but let's go through it. We can breeze through it. Yep. Revelation 18 and 1. That's good. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice. Now, like we always tell you, this is the Apostle John on the island of Patmos. Now, why was he sent there? He was sent there as a prisoner of the Roman government, charged with uh, sedition. And they uh, banished him to that island called Patmos. Now, it was a series of islands, a chain of islands. Uh, that was a penal colony, like yeah. a punishment colony. Yeah, I believe they were called Sporads. OK. Yeah. Anyway, uh, one of the islands was called Patmos, right? I, I should have looked up that word, what the word Patmos means. I'll look it up. Yeah, if you want to, you can look it up. But uh, that's the territory of Greece. Mm -hmm. That wasn't Rome. It was the island of Greece. Now he he was uh, salt mine. Yep, he was working in the salt mines. That was his punishment. And while he was there, he received a series of visions. He from, was up in age too. He oh yeah, to he be, was very old. Yep. Don't give me exact age, but he had to be. Probably in his 90s. 90s. Yeah. If not hundred, close to hundred. He was up he, so they didn't give a damn. That's Deuteronomy twenty-eight. Yep. They don't they're, they're not concerned about the young or the old. Uh, that, uh, perfect. Perfect. That's what the prophecy says. It uh, speaks about Esau not giving a damn about the young or the old. And this is why this man is called a dragon. He's called a dragon, he's called a serpent, he's called a devil. You yep. know? Yeah, yeah, that's true. He's called Satan. Yep. So, you know, when you say, how can you prove that the white man's a devil? Well, all you got to do is get the understanding of revelation about the dragon. It's not talking about an actual dragon. Right. How do you know that? When you go to Daniel, the, uh, the seventh chapter. That's right. It tells you about that same beast. Right, and that's the good point. Uh, Apostle John was up in age. They didn't care. They just banished him to that island. They had him working in the salt mines. Plus, he had a lot of, you know, you know he had a lot of wounds from, you know, a lot of scars. And when you put salt in wounds, that makes the wounds even more painful. I'm pretty sure he was getting whipped, you know? And that's, and that's what the scriptures speak about, the sufferings of Yahweh Shai. He was going through the sufferings of Yahweh Shai. All right? So back to Revelation 18, unless you got uh, uh, the definition of a Yeah, that's what I'm look looking for. Right okay. Now. Revelation 18 and 1, again. And after these things, Ooh. I saw. If I may, yeah, yeah I've looked up this, the word sporad. You know, that's what that's one of the islands. I think there's 24 altogether. Okay. It says sporad means those scattered, compared with sporadic. From classical antiquity, the name has referred to the Aegean island groups outside the central archipelago of the Cyclades. Just a little. It's a, a little history. It, it says they consist of 24 islands, four of which are permanently inhabited, and it gives the names. And uh, Patmos happens to be one of you know one of them. And that's the island where Apostle John was when he wrote these uh, revelations down. And uh, by the way, those revelations were to be sent to the churches of uh, Asian Minor. The seven churches. Yep. Seven churches. God. Okay. Smyrna. Yep. Or uh, Laodicea. Pergamos. Pergamos. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. <laughs> 
Thyatira. Yep. yep. And those are the believers that were sent because all of the, the apostles were put to death except for one. Right. That was uh, John. John, yeah. And the reason why he wasn't put to death by the Romans because the most high put the spirit on him to, to keep alive to get them visions, man. Right. Yep. Yeah, how wish I said that. He said, What would it what will I what would you if this man stay alive or something like that? Yeah. What is that to you? You know? He said that to Peter. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Because Peter asked Yahushua, well, what, what, what will this man do? Right, right. And Yahushua said, what is that to you? Hmm. And then there was the saying that uh, the Apostle John would not die. But that's not what Yahushua said. Right. Yahushua said, I'm going to keep this man in the faith. Basically, that's what Yahushua said. He never said he's not going to die. But you know Jake, man. Jake never gets something right. You know, they always have that. Yeah, Jake they got always to got add. that saying. They always got to add to, yep. you know. Yep. That proves that we're, those were Jake's. Go ahead, brother. You got the yes. yeah, like I was doing the video earlier today, and I did this maybe a couple of months ago, six months ago, or however long I did it. And I was uh, going, and it led me into the, the thing about Elijah and the prophecy of Elijah. What did that mean? So you know me. I went to the uh, commentary, the Bible Hub, and I did it before. And you know all the scriptures that they 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 put up put up there that they brought out was the same scriptures we go. And they, and they actually came out and said that he has to, he has a come, Elijah has to come back. Mm -hmm. so and they even said that John did come back, but they didn't want to say reincarnation. But in the language, you can see that they right. see it's reincarnation. Just talking about reincarnation. They right. But they didn't use the word reincarnation. Right, right, right. But then they said, but the part with Elijah coming back another time mm. that we don't know. Basically, they were kind of dancing around it. Right, right. Meaning they know. They know that the only answer to that to that breakdown of uh, Malachi uh, 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 four and five will be that he would have to come back in reincarnation. Right. Well, the, the wicked elite of Esau they understand reincarnation. The wrong yeah, chapter. The family. top level, not yeah, the low level. Not like the lower level. Vocab can't get it. No, it and he really it. can't get it. He can't it's get it. You know. Yeah, that's why they did, wouldn't let any of their daughters take over. Take over the money business. They kept everything in the family. Yep. Oh, well, as in family as in the men, the men yep. of the family, they understood that they kept coming back. Yeah, because your mind doesn't life. come through the women. No. It comes through the men. It comes through the men. Go ahead, bro. All right, this is... um. As a matter of fact, to back up what the pastor just said, when you look up the word genealogy, you know what word you'll see there in the etymology? Fathers. Because uh, your genealogy comes through your fathers. Well, the word, when you break the word, see, and we break words down, we go into the root of the word, Gene, genealogy, genealogy, ology means study, study of gene. gene meaning seed, seed yeah. so it actually means the study of the seed, now where does the seed come from, from it the comes father. from the man, and he impregnates the, the, the mother is just an incubator, incubator for the seed, that's all she is, that's why us Israelite men, we can go anywhere in the world and bring back our seed, bring back our nation, so you women man, you women, some of you women, you walk around like you like your shit don't stink. In reality, we really don't need you. You're you know, an, you're just a you're just a vessel. Yeah. Yeah. But see, thanks to feminism, you women, you got the, you got your gas, your head gas up. You know. Go ahead, bro. All right. That's why men go their own way. They, men go their they own see way. Uh, the games that you yeah, with that. We're the special ones. Not you women. You you women are gonna learn that. I say it. Give me that. I say it. Thirteen. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I want? Uh, yeah, yeah. We're the special ones. Not you women, man. And you women are going to learn that. See, feminism is the big lie that was told to you. And you, and you gobble that up. That, that was the Gardenian pact. Yeah, in, in, in the garden with the serpent and yep. Eve. That was the big lie that was told to Eve, feminism, that you're equal to the man. You're yeah. not equal to the man. You can get power. Yeah, the man is special, and we're going to read it. Go ahead. Uh, Isaiah 13 and 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Let me give you another example. Now in the scriptures it mentions the brothers, the biological brothers of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, now if you could get me that, do we not know his, 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 uh, his sisters? Because it specifically yeah. says that Yahweh Shai had sisters, biological sisters, yet their names are never mentioned. Why? If, if the women is equal to the men, I got it. Because they're insignificant. Got it. Yeah. There you go. But his, his brother's names are mentioned, and two was not even in the faith, yet their names was mentioned. Go ahead, bro. All right, this is Matthew, the 13th chapter, and the 55th verse. Yeah, that's it. It says, is not this the carpenter's son? Now, that's the Jews speaking. 
That's one of the reasons why they rejected Yahweh Shai, because they knew his family, they knew his father, and he his father wasn't an angel that came down from heaven. Right. right. They knew his father. Neither was the Lord. He was a regular boy that grew up. Like exactly. Every, like every boy grew up. Exactly. That's why he had a genealogy. He's a messiah. This guy is a messiah. Look, I know his father. Right. right. <laughs> you know? We know his Think mother. Think about it. If he was an angel, or if his father was an angel that came from the throne of God, they would have accepted him. They would say, yeah, his father's an angel. He got to be what he say he is. No, they knew his father. They knew his mother. They knew his family. You know, wicked and adulterous generation seeking after this sign. Yeah. So the, the only sign that will give you is the sign of Job, Jonas. That's it. Go ahead, bro. All right. For you, Ronan, that was talking about the belly of hell. You know, it was talking about the, the condition, a hellish uh, um, condition. Uh, dead condition like you're gonna die if you don't get out of this thing right yeah. that was hell man yeah. shadow of so death. you got you got i hope you i hope you you know learn grew, grew, grew this thing the first the first mistake you made was getting with gocc yep and what you said yourself the worst israelite oh but guess what when they do a video when they do a video they'll get 50 fucking people watching it most of a lot of them are women they're all that's the worst Yep. I mean, it, it goes downhill from ICB, KIUIC down to GM, uh, uh, GOCC. It's all going downhill. Yeah. Mass confusion. Yeah, that's Stumbling that. blocks. Yeah, the IUIC is mostly women go to that congregation. All you got to do is check their videos, see who's making the most comments. It's mostly women. Go ahead, bro. All right, Matthew chapter 13, verse 55. What? It says, is not this the carpenter's son? It's not his mother Who called was the Mary? carpenter? Joseph. Mm -hmm. And Joseph's line went all the way back to David. That's, That's why, why he had a genealogy. Genealogy. Yeah. So like no, 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 you did not. The Lord, couldn't be all, right. the Lord couldn't be the Lord. He couldn't be the Messiah unless he comes through the direct lineage of King David. Right. Yeah. yeah. So what the hell are you talking about, vocab? That's why people... When they, when they, if they know you're coming, that's why you got to sneak up on us, man. Ain't nobody gonna, ain't nobody gonna <laughs> take you serious. Gonna, yeah, ain't nobody gonna come and debate with you. You're right. a fucking fool, man. Clown. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. All right. Yep. And his. Uh, a, I'm sorry. There's a reason why hell debating team that only fights so off him because he's a bunch of fools to them, man. That's right. Persona non grata. Go ahead. It's not his mother called Mary and his brethren. James and Joseph, his brethren, men and his biological brothers, that also came out of Joseph's nut, uh, nutsack. That's it. Yahweh Shai being the first, and then he had uh, four other brothers, making a total of what, five? Yeah. And then he had sisters. It doesn't say how many sisters he had, but he had sisters, which means he had more than one. Go ahead. Uh, and his brethren, James and Joseph, and Simon and Judas. James and Joseph. Now, Joseph wasn't in the truth. But uh, James was. Right. James, that's the same James that wrote the book of James. James, yep. yep. And, and, and look, we could prove it. Right, because, book, book of yeah, Galatians. Yeah, the book of Galatians, if you, right. if you want to get that. Because huh. it's all about proving, right? Yep. It's good to say prove all things. So and Plus the other James, the brother of, uh, of John, John. Was all put to death. Yep. He was already that's put it. to death. That's the right. Acts 12. So there's the one James among the 12 that was left. And it was a common name. James was a yeah, common yeah, yeah. name. Dyke one. Dyke Judas. Right. Judas Dyke was one. a common name. Yeah. Jude. Huh? You got it, bro? Uh, yep. This is uh, Galatians chapter 1, verse 18. Yep. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to now, see. Who's this speaking? This is the Apostle Paul speaking mm -hmm. to the Israelites. Actually, this was a letter he wrote to the Israelites in Galatia, right? Go ahead. It says, Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and abode with him 15 days. Right. But other of the apostles saw I none. Other of the apostles saw I none. Go ahead. Save James, the Lord's brother. Save James, the Lord's brother, his biological brother. That's the same James that he read there. And that's the same James that wrote the book of James. That's the same James that spoke up at the, uh, uh, in Acts 15 when you had the, the, the council over, uh, what's that, circumcision and James uh, made that statement. That's the same James. Okay, Yahweh Shai's brother, brother yep. his biological the brother. circumcision and then into the Gentiles. Yep. The Gentiles. Yeah, he broke it down. He said why uh, the Lord had to open up the truth to the Israelites scattered among the Gentiles. That's it. That was the same James. Hey, what the Apostle Paul said, until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. 
Right. Meaning the Israelites that were among the Gentiles being brought into the fold yep. to seal up the breaches. Yeah, which is yep. different than Luke 21. God, that's right. That's right. Until the time when the Gentiles be fulfilled. Be fulfilled. Yep. 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 Them other nations. That's, that's it. The other nations. So they're in the fulfillment right now. That's right. Now, to someone who doesn't have the Holy Spirit, those two scriptures would sound like a contradiction. Right. You don't get it. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you ain't understanding that Bible. <laughs> if you don't you have the Holy Spirit, you ain't understanding that Bible. That's right. It's, it's, it's just that simple. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is the, just like a car. It's like a fossil. Go ahead. Just like a car has an engine, right? Right. The car ain't going nowhere without that. You take the engine out of it. I don't care how pretty it looks. Yeah. It ain't going nowhere. It doesn't have an engine. That's you can the car. take an engine and put another engine from a different car. And that engine and the car won't still. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Got to be the right engine. So, so. The Holy Spirit is the engine, man. That's the engine that gives us the understanding. The engine. That's the it. engine of understanding. Yeah, well, the engine is, it pumps the different liquids through the, you know, through the it does car. the work, man. Yeah. It does the That's work. that oil. Yep. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, um, so we proved the we point. We proved yeah, the point, right. right? James, the Lord's brother. Go ahead. All right. Matthew 13, verse 56. Yep. And his sisters. And so there's the point. His sisters are not even mentioned. They mentioned the brothers. But they didn't, the names of the brothers, but they didn't mention the sisters. Why? No. Because the women, the point is the women is not equal to the men. Right. Yeah, you're going to learn that. It mentioned all four of them. In certain cases, certain men, kings, uh, different kings and stuff, they didn't mention their mother's name. Yeah. Some of them. You know, the, the King David's concubine or uh, King Solomon's women, they didn't mention all their names. Well, here's another example. When the Apostle Paul spoke about faith in the book of Hebrews, he mentioned about Barak, right. but he never said anything about the Bora. Now, right. All you guys, the Bora. What about the Bora? Well, why didn't the Apostle Paul mention the Bora as an example of faith in the book of Hebrews 11 chapter? Yep. So we're showing you points that show that men and women are different. They're not equal, like you've been told, it's feminism, all right? Feminism is the big lie, okay? That's it. That's it. So that, that was it uh, oh, yeah. well, go ahead, go ahead. I mean, that was so, we'll get back to Revelation. Yeah, we made the point. Yeah, we made the yeah, point. Revelation. Because it's all about, see, the scriptures say, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21, it says to prove all things. Yeah. That's why we go to the, we, we make a statement. This is how you teach. You make a statement and you go into scriptures and you prove it. Yes. And then you keep it moving. If, if the person don't get it, guess what? We They're not meant all. to get it. This truth for everybody. He's ignorant, let him remain ignorant. That's what the Apostle Paul said. If a man... You know these, these yep. videos, man, you know, when you out there, you got guys in the street, you always got the same person that comes up, and they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Yep. They come with the same scripture that everybody comes out up with. But what about all of what it says, Gentiles? And like vocab, either you playing games, or you really just don't know what's going on, man. Right. Those scholars know that those Gentiles are not talking about other nations. They know that they're talking about Israelites. Man. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Yeah. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. we're going to change gears a little bit. Trust. <clears throat> Give me the scripture here. Sound like my... <laughs> Us. What is it? Damn, my eyes are gone. Let's go to... Uh, Second Maccabees six. I believe mm. that. Yep. Second Mac Maccabees six, six. verse one. Yep. Go right to the, yep. to the top. Second Maccabees chapter six verse one. Not long after this, the king sent an old man of Athens to compel the Jews to depart from the laws. By the way, that old man of Athens was the Israelite that was living in Athens. Now, Bocab did a video recently where he went to Acts seventeen. And he said Paul encountered the, uh, the Athenians. He right. said, which we all know that they're white. No, no, those are Israelites. Right. Remember, Jake was Jake was scattered throughout the whole place. Right. Yeah. When you go, when you go to uh, Acts, uh, the second chapter, it tells you where right. he came out. Yep. You Jews, know? devout men. Yeah. Right. Out of every nation under heaven. Yep. It mentioned Rome. It mentioned yep. parts of Africa, Elam. Mesopotamia, Pamphylia, Pamphylia. So we was up in Greece. Yep. Why do you think the Apostle Paul made them journeys to uh, 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 Asia Minor? Asia Minor, yeah. Because he was talking to Israelites. Yeah. yeah. Well, wait a minute. Didn't the Apostle Paul himself speak Greek? Now, was not the Apostle Paul an Israelite? Right. You you can go away. Is it Romans? For 
I also am an Israelite right. of, of the, the seed, seed of, of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. Yeah. Right. So what the hell is he doing speaking Greek? Right. That proves right there that you had Israelites scattered among the Greeks. Yeah, because you know this dickhead vocab. He said, um, he said that the uh, the Egyptians. He said the Egyptians. You know they had a they had a picture of some some Egyptian. They said that it was it had it was a white person. And in that time, the Egyptians were white people. Not all the Egyptians. Th that was only the the, the ruling class, the yeah. the, to the Ptolemy, the Ptolemaic yeah. Empire. And that was during yeah. that was during that time period when Esau. When you go into the see, you don't know the history either. Why why am I even mentioning your name? Bro? Right. You don't know what the hell is going on, man. <laughs> Alexander came on the scene, right? Yep. As a matter of fact, let's go to that. Yep. Uh, 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 Daniel Daniel oh, eleven and one. Okay. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 11, verse 1. It says, Also in the first year of Darius the Mede, even I stood to confirm and to strengthen him. And now will I show thee the truth. Behold, there shall stand up yet three kings in Persia, and the fourth shall be far richer than they are. So Darius was one of the kings, right? Then he mentioned uh, the, another uh, group of kings, uh, Cambyses II, Bardia. Right. I think Cyrus or Darius, another Darius, and then Xerxes. Xerxes, right. He said the fourth was richer than the more. Right. That was that was the, that was after they took down the Babylonian Empire. Right. Go ahead. And the fourth shall be far richer than they are. Xerxes. And by his strength. So you can understand from the movie Three Hundred, the big tall guy with the jewelry, that was Xerxes. Right. The fourth was richer. That's why he sold, had them, the Athenians sell out and them. Uh, the, the Athenians and the, uh, the, the, the Sparta, Spartans, yep. because they were good, they were good enough, and they were showing them what the, what the goal that they had. Yeah, you know. Right, right. The the one guy that sold out, he had the coins with Xerxes' face on it. Exactly. Yeah, it says, and, and by his strength, through his riches, he shall stir up all against the realm of Grecia. And a mighty king shall. That's what that movie, the Three Hundred, was all about. Just watch that movie. Come. Go ahead. It says, and a mighty king shall stand up that shall rule with great dominion and do according to his will. And when he shall stand up, his kingdom shall be broken and shall be divided toward the four winds of heaven. Talking about Alexander the Greek. Yep. If, you go, if you go to uh, by the Bible hub or you go to commentary on that, they'll all tell you the same thing. That's talking about the Persian Medial Empire, then the Greeks coming into power. Right. Something that you don't understand, vocab. They don't, they don't teach you that. This, uh, theological subjects. By the way, go back to the history. Uh, Alexander the Greek had Israelites in his army. Yep. One particular guy was um, uh, Cletus. Cletus. Cletus Mellus. Sound also, like, sound like a nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a nigga name. Also, he was also known as Cletus the Black. Cletus Mellus. Yeah, Mellus. Mellus means black. The yeah. Dark. Melon. Dark. So he had to be a very dark-skinned brother. See, these Edomites that make these movies about the ancient world, and there's Jake's all up in the movies, but they'll have all the characters are Edomites. All the yeah. characters, yeah. Because why? Because Esau, is, he's the deceiver. Yep. Uh, what was that? White How's supremacy. Uh, he shall go to the four corners of the earth to deceive. Right, to deceive the, yep, yep. To deceive the nations. Yep. Esau, that's what Esau has done. He deceived all the nations. Now, the movie, The Ten Commandments with Charles Heston, it tells you that when you watch the movie, uh, what was it, Dino De Laurentiis? Is that what's his name? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I think that was the director. Yeah, director. You're talking about the director? Cecil B. De Cecil, Cecil B. De Mille. Yeah, yeah. Cecil, 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 Cecil B. De Mille. Yeah, you're right. Cecil he made a he made an actual movie back in the 20s. I think it was the mid to late 20s about the same subject. Mm. Then he made a remake of the movie. In that the, the one with Charlton Heston is the second one. Okay. Okay. The one that became popular was the second right, one. Right. The one that he made, the, the first one that he made, in around the, 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 the late mid to late twenties or whatever, early thirties. Um, they had a uh, the guy. What was the guy that played? Uh, he played a Aladdin. The Jake. What was his name? You knew his name. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I forgot his name right now. Anyway, he played in Rex Ingram. Rex Ingram. Yeah. Oh, the one if that you played. Look, if you look him up. If you go to Google. Right. You look up his. Uh, his uh, history list of movies. Right. He said he played in the original uh, Ten Commandments movie, mm. and, his, and and he played a Hebrew slave. Oh, that. is that the one when he they brought him? He played a Hebrew slave. Oh, okay. You wow. know, meaning what? 
Meaning what? That they, they, they were showing you that they were black? They were right. A Hebrew slave? Black? You mean they had black slaves and white slaves? No, they had black slaves. Hebrews. Now when he made when he made the, the movie, the, 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 the next one with Charles Heston years later in the 50s, when they, when, they, when they were coming before the pharaohs, right. yeah. the pharaohs were looking like Edomites, which is bullshit. But then they had, they had the, the kingdom of Canaan, and they had yeah, yeah, Jake's. Yeah, 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 they had yeah. one guy that played a Canaanite king. It was Woody Strode. Woody Strode, yeah. All right, Woody Strode that. was a dark-skinned man, tall dude. He played football. I believe he was a guy, but he looked like Jake. Right. So they were showing you that the Canaanites were black. But wait a minute. Did not the Canaanites and the Egyptians, aren't they brothers? Yep. Under, under, under uh, Ham? Ham, yeah. Ham, yeah. One of the sons of Ham. Oh, damn. So they couldn't, they could hey. They showed you. They showed you in the movie the last temptation of Christ. I don't even like saying that word, but Christ just means anointed. Listen, the last temptation of Christ. They showed you black, so-called black people in the scene. Man. The movie The Gladiator. They had black people. Yeah, yeah. Play, you know. Yep. Hey, well that movie, uh, Je Jesus Christ Superstar. Yeah. They had Judas Iscariot played by a Jake. Yeah, of course. Judas Iscariot yeah. is going to be. He's going to be a so-called black. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Esau's a real mother. Well, that's the that's his power, deception. Yeah, you can't help it. He, he was created to be the devil. That's what the apostle Paul said. A vessel created unto dishonor. Mm -hmm. He speaks about a vessel created unto honor, right? And a vessel created unto dishonor. That's Esau, Edom. Okay, that's it. In one of the movies, the greatest story ever told, there was a guy that helped Simon, that helped. Uh, yep, the, the Lord. Lord. Yep. It says yeah. Simon the Canaanite. Yeah. Right. So now these Edomites. Back then, in the 50s, they knew that the Canaanites were black. Right. So they said, well, who, who are we going to play? get to play that part? We'll get uh, Sidney Poitier, yeah. you know? Mm. So they know. Yeah. yeah they they know. sneak that. But see, when we were kids, we don't see all that. Yeah, that was the Cyrenians, because you had a big uh, community of Israelites in northern Africa, too. Yeah. You had Alexandrian Jews. You had Jakes up there, because they came to the to the Passover, two three times a year. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The Cyrene, you know, the different, you know? places and you know how you know that we're the uh, Israelites because we can call ourselves any people but if we call ourselves the Israelites or the real Jews right there's a problem why because that's exactly who we are hey wait a minute didn't the naked archaeologists went around so-called found the 12 tribes Chinese and the different people out there that no, nothing no, no real Israelites he didn't touch no real Israelites right. but everybody else could be an Israelite everybody except, except like he said yeah we can't be Israelites the, the so-called the small hats in Israel, back in the 80s, they opened up the floodgates, so to speak. They opened up the gates for the Ethiopians, what they call Falasha. Right. Well, wait a minute, the Falasha look just like us. Yep, are you not as the children of the, uh, the right, Ethiopians right, exactly. to me? Yeah. Amos, yep. 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 Right. But for some reason, it's humanly impossible. Well, wait a minute, if, the, if Israel was scattered throughout all the planet Earth, right. and they mingled their sea with all these different nations, then if not all of us are Israelites, a percentage of us are Israelites, so how do you know if I'm not an actual Israelite? Right. How do you know my lineage doesn't go back to Aaron or Moses right. or, or whoever? Right. So that's, and you know why? Because you know that we, have, we are the people. Man. Exactly. And they know that when we come back to our true identity, that that's it for them. That's it for their rulership. Yeah. And um, vocab, when is Ezekiel... 37 will be fulfilled. When did that happen? Mm -hmm. Huh? Where's the stick? Right. Yeah, where's the, the stick? Where, the and they, they, they're in the land of Israel, right? It's just Judah, right? Sometimes they say Le Levi. But where's Gad? Where's the rest, the rest of the tribes? So yeah. that's not the fulfillment. And why is everybody committed? We're at the brink of war, World War. Mm -hmm. World War Three. Hey, that, that, that dumb people, don't, that dumb people don't, don't fit. Those people over there in the land of Israel do not beat fit the prophecies yeah, of the don't. people of Israel coming back to the land. Certainly yeah, because the Lord said he's raising up the tabernacles of David, and that's all 12 tribes. Where's King David among? Yeah. And don't give us no David Ben-Gurion. Oh, Lord. That, that clown been dead for many years. Yep. And when, when he came, so-called, made that proclamation, that was supposed to be what? Is that supposed to be the king uh, tabernacle well, that's the of David? Of, that's the kingdom of heaven. Is that supposed so to be the kingdom these, of heaven? What's all these, why is Esau still in power? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Then they Esau say, is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it. They're following. Then they say Menachem Sneerson was a supposed yeah, to be yeah, that's 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 yeah, Who's that? that? David Ben-Gurion. David ben yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. hey, didn't they say that uh, Menachem Sneerson was supposed to be the Lord? And then he gave that speech.
Dead. That's, the, that's the devil in the field. The very night the that home. they, uh, what was that, uh, May 14th, 1948, the very night they made the proclamation of Israel becoming a state. By the way, the Bible talks about Israel becoming a nation, all 12 tribes, not some some state. But that's the proclamation you know, the they made. the word state means, it means condition. Condition, yes. Mm, mm, right, right, so status. That's the, that's the proclamation they made. Israel has now become a state, a homeland for the so-called well, for the Jewish people. That's what they say. But the now, very now, mind you, yeah. Just in case you get stupid, any of you out there, especially you, vocabulary, because you know for saying stupid shit. Some of them. Well, wait a minute. Some of them could be Jake. Yeah, like that singer. Like I said, that yeah, singer, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever his name was, yeah. he sang Benjamite music. Yep. Man, I would listen to that dude. Yep. He looked like a so-called Jew, but when he opened up his mouth, he sounded like a Jake. Right. I said, that man might be a Jake. Right, right. Yeah, this um, man could sing, bro. I was like, yeah, 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 this guy ain't no so-called Jew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I forgot his name. Like you said, it begins with the M. Master or something. Yeah, Master, yeah. whatever. If we look at him, he sings like regular English, and then he sings Benjamin Benjaminite songs too. Yeah, the, the, yeah, I remember the point now. The, uh, May fourteenth, nineteen forty-eight, the very night, the, a little skirmish broke out between the so-called Jews and the Egyptians. Now the prophecy says when that happens, when the kingdom comes together, underneath Yahweh and then King David, nation shall learn war no more. That's it. There's not going to be any war. So that was the heavenly Father making a mockery of your, your so-called uh, proclamation, May 14th, 1948. And yep. that's why they'll never sit down. Anytime they invite an Israelite on, you know it's a setup, right? Yeah. And then they'll bring you on because some, some guy went crazy shooting up everybody. Your guy, and I'm not like saying, um, what guy, I don't know this guy. Yeah, but he's part of your, well, wait a minute. There's so-called there's so-called Jews in the, in, the, in, the, in the main land that's doing crazy shit too. Right. Yep. And you leave out the news, man. Right. You can't look. You can't go on with this lie, man. So, yeah. You know. Hey, well, that's I, what. Like the song. Yeah. How long has this <laughs> been going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, that's why they have these Palestinians. Yep, that was a good. Yeah. Uh, that was the group Ace. Yeah. Ace. Yeah. 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 No, so you know you had these uh like uh Palestinian activists and, and news about the Palestinians. Uh -huh. They won't they won't uh, really push that hard hard on the in the media because you know the small hats are controlling everything. Right. right. You right. know? All well, the they atrocities. Own, they own the media. Yeah. They own the media. The the uh recently uh in the news they've been talking about the central bankers. The central bankers are the small hats. Right. Yeah. The small hats are the central bankers. And the reason why they own everything is because that's according to prophecy. The Heavenly Father gave them the power to own everything. The earth that's is just, given. Uh, what was that? The, the earth, earth is given. The earth is given the hand of and that's the head of the wicked. Yeah. The small hat. Mm -hmm. The small hats. Go oh ahead. yeah. That's Amalek. Oh, I had a uh, precept I wanted to bring out. Psalm 83 and oh, I guess I'll start the first verse. That's the head uh, the, chop right the, there. The, yeah, the nuclear bomb. Psalm 83 and 1, it says, Keep keep not thou silence, O Yahweh, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Yahweh. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. The reason why it says hidden ones is uh, we're the people, and our nationality, our true nationality is being hidden to the world. Mm -hmm. They're calling us blacks, they're calling us, uh, what is it, the West Indians, Puerto Ricans, and... Right. All, anything all these, but an Israelite. Anything right. but an Israelite. All these corporate names that the wicked put on us. And from the top of, of the rock, I beheld them. He, yep. shall not, he shall dwell alone and shall not be reckoned among the nations. So that's why it says in the third verse, that's why it says hidden ones. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. I'll give you an example of the crafty counsel. Calling us black. And when you look up the term black, that's a negative term. It means void of light, wicked, sullen, gloomy. We're not black, We're, look at me, I'm not black, I'm brown, all right? You got brothers that are, are very dark brown. We range from a very dark brown to a very light brown. Yep. The so-called white man ranges from a very dark red to a very light red, yep. mm -hmm. okay? So it's red and brown. Ain't, ain't more no... translucent, your skin, in, skin is the redder you are. Yep. Exactly. So ain't you no... got these Edomites that mingle themselves with the other nation, darker nation, Jake. And they don't look white no more. That's why the Lord spoke about the parable of the tears and the wheat. Yes, sir. You know? So what this truth does is it destroys that construct that was created, white and black. 
No, it was, uh, what's the brother's name from Chicago? Um, uh, Malcolm. 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 Elder Malcolm. Uh, he did some research. He found out uh, that construct of white was created in what, 1681? Yep. 1681. Yep. So you so called white people, you don't even know that. That's when you started calling yourself white people. It was yeah. a construct, a construct that was created for you. Oh, you know what? So like, a, uh, so like, a, there was a this this Jake, right? I was watching this this uh, video, and he was pretty much saying, "Look, when I say using word association, when I say you know Chinese, you say what? Where the people come from? China. So it's a Chinese, China, right? He said Russian. Uh, he said Russians, Russia. You know, he said uh, uh, Germans, Germany. You know, he kept going down the list. He said black. Everybody's." Uh, they were lost because there was you didn't no say Africa. No, because there was no no identity. There's no such thing as <laughs> black people the land or the black. land of black. You know, See? that was I, I was I found that you know. Yeah, that's old. I saw, I saw that too. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. yeah. kind of. But that brings to life that third verse in Psalm 83. They have they have taken crafty counsel right. against thy people, and and the main tribe they coming against is the the head tribe, the Judah. tribe of Judah, mm -hmm. calling them black. That's spiritual. Yep. That's spiritual, man. Yeah. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Yeah. Hey, because come, come, just sorry. to build upon. No, that's all right. No, it's because without the head, you can't. The rest of the body can't form. Exactly. Yeah, you got it. So we had to destroy all that madness, man. Come. Mm -hmm. That's our job, man. That's and the bottom line, this is getting out there, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. Why you think Christians every time they do a video, they got to mention the Israel. Yeah. They yep. got to mention the Israel. They got to roll up on the Israel. Yeah. And then, and then when they roll up on the Israelites, they got these scriptures to call themselves justifying that the Gentiles can make it. And they all, all they tell, run down the street with their proverbial tail between their legs because we break it down for them. What about this one? It says the Gentiles. Mm. And then this this clown, a vocal, he still, after we explain it to him, he still teaches it, man. Yeah. He said in one of the videos, he spoke about, but now we know Cornelius is a white, a white man. He's from the Italian band. Guess what? You had Jakes that were living all up in Italy. Man. Yeah. Italy, man. Uh, Priscilla and Aquila yep. was, was kicked out of Rome yep. by a Cordius. Yep. 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 Learn your history, man. Learn your history. Well, yep. like as a possible I was saying that you remind me of the scripture. They are like the deaf adder. Yes, that stop. Well, that's, what he, that's what he is. You're a deaf adder. Fat deaf adder. And, and, and remember, back in the day, he used to wear the cobra hats. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. With the, with the, with the well, shirt. Cobra that's shirt. Cobra, that's cobra. Child. That's King Cobra. That was those. What was those? Those uh, pajamas called? The kids used to wear. Bare animals. Some something like that. You know them pajamas with the different cart. Uh, yeah. Superheroes. Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. The Hulk. Yeah. Marvel Comics and he's a, he's a comic a big, enthusi enthusiast. Yeah, he's a big kid, man. Yeah, he's a big kid. He's a big kid. You, you're always going to lose vocab because we don't need you. You need us, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Trying to get some shots. You need us, son. Mm -hmm. yep. We don't to, need you, brother. Oh, you had to see it. The video he tried to break down Revelation 13. That, that shit, you saw it? I seen some of That some, shit was some comical, different. man. We, we got a good laugh. Anyway, go ahead. And you don't know nothing about precepts. You don't know how to tie in the precepts right. because even King David said, through thy precepts, I get understanding. Mm. When we teach, we bring out the precepts. Right. I got a precept. I got a precept. Right. Yeah. This guy don't know nothing about precepts. Hey, they always speak about cherry picking, but they're the ones that cherry pick. But he was doing Hebrew hopscotch, right? That's what he said when we were doing it. Oh, you guys are doing Hebrew hopscotch. But then when he does it, that's okay. You can go from one scripture to the You're next. trying to come off like he's deep. You're not deep, man. But right. you need to close close this book and just follow us. It's 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 Number it's one it. group out there. What you said yourself, yeah. you need to just follow us and learn. Follow, follow us if you're an Israelite. Running. If you're not an Israelite, I don't, think I don't, I don't care what the hell you do. You ain't going to make it. Hey, when you, you know? get past all your book, you know, your book that we use for a paperweight, yep, yep. right? Uh, all the way. <laughs> yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, you can't deny it, man, because the picture's out there. Yeah. You bowed out like you was bowing down to the to the king. Man. Yeah. Hey, you were short of taking the knee, my brother. Yep. My dude. Yep. What they call that? Genuflect. Genuflect. Gen, gen, uh, I think the word is gen, genuflect. He made obeisance. Yeah. Mm. Obeisance. Yeah. Go ahead. Obeisance. Go ahead. Obeisance. Isaiah chapter 25, verse 7. It says, and he. I was he, thinking of that scripture too. Right? Yep. Go ahead. It says, and he will destroy in, in this mountain. Yeah, who's the he? The heavenly father. Yahweh. Through his son Yahweh Shai. How is he going to destroy in this mountain? Go ahead. The face of the covering cast over all people. You know how he's going to destroy it? By the truth. <clears throat> See, we're going into nationality. The mm -hmm. Bible gives 
every nation on the planet Earth, the Bible gives them back their true nationality. Okay? And there's no such thing as white. There's no such thing as black. All right? That's it. Yeah, now, I said get uh, second Maccabees. Maccabees 6 and 1. Look at that. I was reading that. Uh, Second Maccabees chapter six verse one. That says demon and demon there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah push it. watching us while they push it. It's not a crash. Look at the car moving. Yeah, it's picking up speed too. By itself. And it's turning back this way. What if it comes at us full speed? Yeah, I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> I won't kick it because I might hit it with a dolomite kick. Yeah, miss. Step to the side as it passes by. <laughs> oh, that's how you Israelites get there. Go ahead, where we at? Second Maccabees chapter six, verse one. It says, "Not long after this, the king sent an old man of Athens to compel the Jews, which was an Israelite, mm -hmm. to depart from the laws of their fathers, yep. and not to live after the laws of the Most High, and to pollute also the temple in Jerusalem." and to call it the temple of Jupiter Olympius. Yeah, and that's how you had Israelites that became what is called Hellenites. As a matter of fact, when you go in the book of, uh, when it speaks about Timothy's father being a Greek, when you look up the word Greek there, you'll see the word Hellene. Now, Hellene was a practice that the Israelites adopted from the Greeks. And he just read it. Do you know anything about that? Hellene as opposed to Hellenistas. Hellenistas, a Hellenistas Jew, is, a, is an Israelite that knows the Israelite to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Yep. You know, six, uh, three days out of the year, Deuteronomy 16, 16. A Helen is someone that doesn't accept. He might, his his parents might be Jews, but he, he probably, I don't, I'm, I don't accept it. Right. You know? Right. Yeah, just or like, they lost it back during this time period. Right. Yeah, just like now you got children of, uh, let's say you have a, a father and a mother that come from, let's say, uh, I don't know, Jamaica, and then they have children. Yeah, in America. Right, and the children were born here in America. Now the mother, the father, and the mother said, "Look, you have to learn about Jamaica. You have to learn about the women. Look, I don't accept that none of that Jamaican yep. crap. I'm an American." Mm -hmm. And then you All go right? back to Jamaica, and they say, "Foreign, you foreign, say, yeah, foreign, right. yeah, you're yeah, foreign, the way you walk, Yankee, the way you Yankee, talk, Yankee you're boy, foreign. Yep. Yeah, Yankee boy." Yep. And his parents are so-called Jamaican. Yep. So that gives you an idea of what was going on back then. Hey, some examples, Eddie Mur Murphy's a Benjaminite. Right. right. Oh, yeah. You, know, you, you wouldn't even know, know that. I don't know who Jay Benjaminite yeah, is. You, know. Benjamin you, wouldn't, you wouldn't know that. Yeah, you never know it. Yeah. A lot of uh, your rappers, you think of uh, hardcore so-called black Americans, a lot of them come from, their parents come from Jamaica, yep. Trinidad. Mm -hmm. yep. Look at Kara Nigeria. Swan. Nigeria. Yep. Yeah, Kara Nigeria, Swan. Yep. His, I believe his parents were from Trinidad. Mm. Yeah, Trinidad. Check that out. But you wouldn't know that. Go ahead. All right. It says, um, and to pollute also the temple in Jerusalem, and to call it the temple, the temple of Jupiter Olympius. And yeah, that and you had many Israelites. That's that's another part of history too. You had many Israelites worshiping in these different temples that Esau set up for them. Mm -hmm. You had the Serapium, where you had a giant. Now, if you watch the movie Agora, they go into that history. Those were Israelites. All right, and then you had that one bishop. That guy was an Israelite, and he was making fun of the so-called gods, Serapis. He said, yeah. what kind of god has a flower pot on his head? And he was making fun of that so-called god that Esau gave the Israelites. Yep, that's right. All right, yep. told him he the, the first. people that was following that god was Israelites. Now, if you bring it up to the, today, you got these universities with Jake going into, they, be, they become what? They, they join up with, uh, Fraternities right. or sororities. Right. Yep. Fraternities meaning the brotherhood and the Greek philosophy and sororities, for, for, um, sororities, I'm sorry, yep. which is the sisterhood of the Greek. So they're following a the Greek coast. Yep. They Hellenized. They and sororities. where they get it from? They got it from uh, this guy here, uh, Antiochus Epiphanes. Yeah. They said, well, okay, we're going to dress naked, we're going to work out, we're going to yep. wear the Greek, Greek in fashion, we're going to speak Greek, we're going to eat pork. We're gonna worship Jupiter. With, that time was Jupiter, but before that was Zeus. And so that's a tradition that coming down the line. Yeah? That's why the Most High going. He gonna fuck these jakes up, man. 
He's going to burn him up. He's going to burn him good. Mm. In Esau, you believe in many gods. You don't just see Israel pursuant to Deuteronomy 6 and 4. It says, Hail Israel, the Lord God is one mm, yep. power. We believe in one God. His name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai, right? The reason why, well, you said you believe in one God. You mentioned another guy. Well, that guy is a mediator between us and the Heavenly Father. Yeah, he's, right. he's, he's, you got the supreme God, the most high Yahweh. Yep. And you got his son, right. which is under the orders. That's it, that's which it. we got to go, to get to him, we got to go through his son. That's how the mediator. Heavenly Father set it up. Yep. First Timothy. All he is is a mediator. He's a mediator. He's on a higher level than us, and we are to worship him. That's exactly. It. Right. Hey, well, that's how it was set up during the time of Moses. When is when the Israel Moses says, spoke about right and 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 uh, who was that? It was one of uh, uh, Philip, Apostle Philip, uh, found a passage in because uh, it's recorded right. in John one and forty five. We have found of uh, of we have found him of whom Moses did write right. Yahweh of Nazareth, uh, Deuteronomy eighteen and fifteen. But the point is, he's our mediator. But you Esau, you worship many gods. You know what proves that? Let's look at the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What are they named after? Thursday, Friday. They're named after other gods. Right. Now, if you believe in that one God as you claim, why didn't you destroy that 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 information day? Right. Monday, Tuesday. No, you believe in those gods. Right. You should have said first day, second day, third like day. Like we did. Right. Like hey, we did. One of them is Venus, Friday. You named the planets after these so-called gods? Yep. Saturn. Named after Mike Venus. Yep, Mike. <laughs> Saturn. Saturn is named after. Do your research. Saturn is named after Satan. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The yeah. planet Saturn. Who, who gave you the responsibility to do that? Sunday. Sunday, named after the sun god Ra. Yeah. Moon day. I mean, Monday. Monday. Yeah. Monday, named after the moon god. So right. there's your proof. So you don't really believe in the heavenly Father, the one true God. Yeah. You don't even know him, man. And that's what the Lord said unto the wicked. He said, "What has thou to do to declare, declare my, my statutes?" statutes. Or that thou shouldst take my covenant in thy mouth, see, and thou hate his instructions, and cast my words behind thee. Just like the angel. fact that they teach of many gods in America. Right. Yeah. I mean, in many religions, you are the First Amendment is for many any religion you want to yeah. be, right. you're, you're covered. Man. Freedom of religion. Which, yeah. so, they, so you can't go. The president can't praise God because you're you're, you're enacting laws mm -hmm. or protecting laws that that have nothing to do with the scriptures, man. Yeah. Right. But then you 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 people are proud. That's why. It's to speak about you being proud you say you have your own belief in what god should be first of all he's a so-called white man the, the son is white the israelites are white mm -hmm. you know you are the sons of god we're yeah. niggas okay yeah, that's what there's a lot you got to pay for man yeah and i wouldn't want to be an edomite for all the fucking gold and fort knox that's right? right that's right and again it's a lie because you don't just believe in one god like we said the proof is the days of the week if you just believed in one God, you're in the policy, right? You would have said, look, we're going to abolish these names of the days of the week. That proves that they're Romans. Yeah. They're yeah. actual Romans because they all these names of Greek. If you go into medical mm -hmm. industry, you better fucking know some, uh, from, some, some, some Latin. Latin. Latin, yep. Law, you better know Latin. Latin. Okay? Yep. How would I say? Uh, uh, botany. Botany, you better know Latin. Yep. Uh, zoology. You, gotta, you better know everything is Latin. It's yeah. Latin man. That's the yeah. image well, of the English language is based upon Latin. That's the image of the beast. Part this of is Rome all over again. Yeah. There's a point. If when we get in the kingdom, you think we're gonna have Sunday like the woman from uh you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunday, yeah. Monday, too. Yeah. I can speak English. You think we're gonna have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, nope. Wednesday, man? Nope. We ain't gonna have that shit in our kingdom. Because we don't believe in that shit. You believe in that. It says and the evening and the morning were the first day. We had the first day, right. like the Passover. The Passover fell fell on the 14th day at evening, yep. which really is the 15th day. Of the there first was no month. name for that day. Right. Well, it was just the, the feast of the Passover. That's it. There was no but in your kingdom, you got Monday, you got Tuesday, you got Wednesday, you got Thursday, all named after Greek gods, so-called Greek gods. Now explain that. Yep. And but then one... you, see, you turn around and say, I believe in one God. Um, no, you don't. Our forefathers, no, you don't. Our forefathers no, you don't. were Christians no, you don't. and they believed in one no, the truth. No, and if you do believe in one God, you believe in the so-called white man. That yep. ain't the God. Right? That's it. That's and it. most eyes a jealous power. That's it. And go ahead and read, read what you left off. All right. Uh, Second Maccabees. I got a, a quick precept. Go ahead. Psalm 96 and 5 says, For all the gods of the nations, Esau uh, being the nations. top, right? Yep. Are idols, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But the Lord made the heavens. Con. And what's the Lord's name? Yahweh. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai, the mediator. 
Okay, that's it. That's all I got to say. Go ahead. Second Maccabees 6 and 2. It says, And to pollute also the temple in Jerusalem, and to call it the temple of Jupiter Olympius, and that in Gerizim of Jupiter, the defender of strangers. As and they, they still worship Jupiter to this day. Mm -hmm. The black, yeah, fraternities and the black sororities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all those jakes that are in that, they all watch, all watch our videos, man. All of y'all are going to take that that uh, jump shot and you're going to die. Yep. That's yeah. It. Ju uh, Ju a lot of you Israelites are going to take that jump shot and you're going to die. Isn't there a statue of Jupiter in the Vatican? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's supposed, it's supposed to be, to be God. It's Peter. It's supposed to be Peter. Oh, Peter. I'm sorry. Yeah, Peter, you're right. Yeah. But it it's is, Jupiter. But there's this woman that break, that's breaking down all of the ancient, you know, like different gods and all that. She mentioned Jupiter. They said that Jupiter, which we've said that before, he's identified as Ithia, which is Ethiopian. And he was supposed to be so-called black. Right. But Esau, when they came into power, they put that face on him. Mm. Yeah, because when the Greeks took over, what was it the Ethiopians? They called him was it Esopar? Yeah, burnt, burnt faces. Face. Burnt face. Yeah. Yeah. All Go this ahead. history, man, coming out. Yeah. Go ahead. All right, and it says, and to call it the Temple of Jupiter Olympius, and that in Gerizim of Jupiter, the defender of strangers, as they did desire that dwell in that place. Mm. Uh, the coming in of this mischief was sore and grievous to the people. Uh, for the temple was filled with riot and reveling by the Gentiles. Who, who the Gentiles right there is talking about the other nations. Yeah. And they followed the ways of those Gentiles. Go yep. ahead. Who dallied with harlots yep. and had to do with women within the circuit of the holy places. Yeah, they were called uh, temple prostitutes. Yep. And, and uh, wait, wait a minute now. You got a form of that with these so-called black churches. Yep. These women, like it's, <laughs> the Lord said in Jeremiah, you 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 cram into the uh, as a assemble as troops in the, the harlot houses. houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These women that you see dancing and, and when so-called praise break, they're nothing but temple prostitutes, man. In reality, that's what they are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're temple prostitutes. Remember, the scriptures say there's no new thing under yeah. the sun. Shaking up the Satan. Yep. Go ahead and had to do with women within the circuit of the holy places. And besides that, brought in things that were not lawful. Yep. Furthermore, what did the apostle oh, say? Swine. If a woman is supposed to learn, she's supposed to learn at, at home. home. It's not supposed to be up in the, the so-called church building, shaking the ass, mm -hmm. talking about she got the Holy Spirit. That's not what the apostle Paul said. He said, if your woman's gonna learn, let her ask her husband at home, for it's a shame for a woman to speak in the church. Go ahead. Verse 5, the altar also was filled with profane things which the law forbiddeth. Neither was it lawful for a man to, to, to keep Sabbath days or ancient fasts or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. Read that again. It says the altar also was filled with profane things which the law forbiddeth. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days so there was a law that you couldn't keep the Sabbath. Right. If right. we saw you keeping the Sabbath, we're gonna whip you or we're gonna put you to death. Yeah. Go ahead. Yep. Or ancient fasts. Or ancient fasts. So no no holy, high holy days. The day of so atonement. The day of atonement. Right. The, uh, the, the Passover. Right. You know, the, the, the Sabbath. All right. Any yep. of these high holy days you can't keep. Right. And you can't follow the laws. So, they, so basically, they said, look, it's a law against you believing in your God. Right. And so what happened was, how'd they get them? They got them through their kids. When their right. kids grew up, number one, they didn't circumcise the kids. Right. And then they fed them kids with uh, pork and taught them about these different Greek gods. And some of them, some of them became athletes. Yeah. They had so to have Greek names. tradition is here today. Yeah, with absolutely. Jay, with, with these, you got the boule, yep. which right. is black. They have, they, they, they're called the... Uh, the guardians, you right. know, to the to the white man. Yep. Like if you want to make it to a certain level, Esau checks you up and he uses the bull A to let you come in. That's why you see these Jakes. They're always on top. They're always on TV. Yeah. Yep. They're always in movies. Yep. And they're, they're the gatekeepers. Right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And you, their children had to be called by Greek names because they be, couldn't be called Jews. Was well, uh, I'm glad the pastor said Hence Timothy. That. What he's reading there, you see. If, uh, uh, example of it today, you got Jakes that say they're atheists. Now, 
when we were coming, man, almost every Jake we knew yeah. believed somewhat believed in God. Yeah, yeah. Back Even if day. it was a so-called white God, they right, still they believed in something. But now today, you got Jake saying, man, I'm an atheist. Well, Jake, man. Jake is all fucked up in the head. I'm an atheist. Yeah. I don't believe in any God. Yeah. Yeah, because they've been you've been around Esau's college, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Esau's uh, system. And I was always rebellious. I they oh, always gave the teacher a hard time. Should I drop down? One teacher, one school. teacher just told me, "Why don't you?" He just said in front of the whole class. He said, "Why don't you just quit? Just you know." And I smiled at him, man. And people were fucking laughing at me. And I said, "Man, this is bullshit anyway." Yeah, it's yeah. Bullshit. It's bullshit. I said that when I when I hit like 15, 16, I said, "This is bullshit, man." My mother used to come in. They took me to the principal, and I told the principal, "I said, this is bullshit." I said, I found out as soon as I hit 16, I don't got to go to school no more. So guess what? In another six months, you ain't going to see me no more. <laughs> and I'm not digging out of the garbage can. I'm, right, you know, right, right. That's right. what they teach you. They teach you that yeah. bullshit. If you don't agree, you're going to be yeah. a bum on the street. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, well, wait a, minute. a lot of them bums on the street are motherfuckers that had good yep. jobs. Yep. Uh, well, wait a minute. It just came to me. Uh, that's rocket that's scientist. Had, uh, uh, my man, Paul Simon, uh, he, uh, he did a song called Photochrome. And the lyrics begin, when I think of all the crap I learned in high school, mm -hmm. it's a wonder I can think at all. Mm -hmm. That's right there in the song Quarter mm -hmm. I think it came out in, what, 1974? Mm -hmm. So he tells you right there that the school system is all bullshit. Fool right? system. Well, in the movie A Good uh, Goodfellas, he said, uh, what did Henry say? How could I go back to school and learn all that good government bullshit? Right? That's right there in the movie, the, the, the soliloquy of the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all BS, man. Go ahead. Second Maccabee 6, verse 6. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient fasts or festivals. That's why so. we had to come back to this. Right. And that's what Esau is not like. We didn't just get up and say, oh, you know what? Let's, let's just be Israelites. No, we keep the, we, we're serious about this. We keep the, the Sabbath, the high holy days, the Passover. Yeah. And when the Passover is getting ready to come, every guy gets up. Uh, you know, serious. hiking for it. Yeah. You know, yep. yeah, we out there on the highways and the byways. Yep. All right. We're teaching out of the scriptures. We're doing everything that the Israelites do, namely the prophets. I got a precept for you on Jude 1 and 5. Spirit of the prophets is subject comes to the prophets. So prophets. we're doing what the prophets actually did. So guess what? If we endure to the end, we are the prophets. It's coming. Jude 1 and 5. Come, come, <laughs> come, come. You see that shit? Come, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Come on. He you know, said, on, he said, what well, if he come this yeah, way? Yeah, yeah. Demon came. He just appeared. I said, oh shit. Jude one. Come, <laughs> come, my child. Come. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> hey, this like, is crazy. I got a movie with on this guy. Uh, Conan, Conan, with uh, uh, Earl, James Earl Jones. Oh, John, yeah. He told oh him yeah, yeah. Of, of, Whatever, yeah, yeah. He said, my child, my child, my child. Oh, yeah. Come yeah, yeah, come yeah. yeah, 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 this just came back yeah, around. Yeah. Like it took off down the street and it came back. Hey, but the key point here is mm -hmm. I will, I will, this is the Heavenly Father speaking through Jew. Now, who was this Jew? That was the brother of Yahweh Shai. That was Yahweh Shai's yeah. biological brother, also mm -hmm. brother of James, right? It says, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this. this. Yeah. So that's what we're getting, brothers. We're getting the remembrance of yeah. what we once know. Well, that's that breath. In Ezekiel the thirty seventh chapter. Yeah. What did Yahweh Shai say? I will I will bring you back to the comforter and he, he shall uh how's that? John 4, 14 and 16. Teach, teach, you, teach you all things. things. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's let me, it. Let me get it. John 14 and 16, I think it Yeah, because obviously we we veered somewhere. The Lord causes us to and now he's bringing us back on the road. Yep. On the road again? Yeah. <coughs> I think this is it. John 14 and 16. And I will pray to Father and he shall give you another comforter. And he's speaking about the scriptures that he may abide with you forever. Mm. So that's what we got. We got the comfort of it. That's the scriptures. Yeah, ain't that? Nah, that's that's a doctor. Yeah. nigga from that's right. And most have made a mockery of that guy by putting his ass to death. That's right. And you know what? Them people that were following him were all zombies, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Including Ariel and Short. They were zombies. They became zombies. Well, check yeah. this out. It says, And I will pray the Father, he shall give you another comforter, which did happen. 
just like Yahweh Shai said, that he may abide with you forever. We got it to this very day, right? And the spirit that comes with that book. Yeah. Right. It ain't just a book because Vocat got the book, but the spirit ain't with him. Right. The, the Holy Spirit, yeah. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. Cannot receive, yep. But because it seeth him not. Yeah. What's, what's an example of that? Vocat don't know what the, the son of the Lord looked like. He's in between. Well, he might be blind, but then he's like, we don't know what he looks like. The average person says that. You ask him, look, what does uh, the Son of God look like? Uh, no one ever saw him. We don't know. What are you talking about? <laughs> what did they put on the cross? Right. Who did they put on the cross and what did he look like? Oh, it don't matter. Color don't matter. You got the spirit of the world, just like it says First here. John 4. Yeah. And you start at the top. Yep. You got the, in the fourth verse. That's right. You got the spirit of the world, you people, because it says even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Because if you were about the truth, you would you would accept that, no, the son of the Lord don't look like that. Right. The what is the truth? The scripture said, least you be wise in your own conceit. Conceit, conceit meaning you're about yourself. Well, I say it is who it is. Right, right. You know? Conceit. And, that's, and that's, what, that's, what, that's what you go under, vocab. You are wise in your own conceit. Yeah. Yeah, and they, and, and they said, well, it don't matter. Well, what if we took a picture of... Uh, uh, George Washington, and put him up looking like Buckley yep. from the Little Rascals. Well, he, well, his son, his son looked like Buckley. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're all grown up. There you go. But George Washington himself. What right. if we did that? You'd be pissed off. Oh, you yeah. said George Washington don't look like that. That's oh, that's what we're telling you. You know what they say? Sorry, yeah, Pastor. They said that's black supremacy. Exactly. You'd be pissed off. That's the point. So the point is, what does the Lord really look like? The right. scriptures tell us what He looks like. It's obvious if the most high put in the scripture, Daniel chapter 7 and 9, and Revelation 13, I mean 1 verse 13, 15, and other scriptures, it's obvious the most high showing us that, that the people of the Bible are so-called black people. The Israelites yeah. are so-called black people. <clears throat> and why do those popes... And this is what, like I said, no Israelite wants, wants you to come... They don't, they don't want to debate. We got to have a debate. Nobody wants to debate you, man. Just like these clown folk you know, four feet of clowns. You know what they're teaching? That they, Edomites are Africans. That the Edomites are actually black people. They still around? Well, they came back. They made a comeback. Uh, yeah. Well, their heart is black, that's for sure. Yeah. They're wicked. But where's their where's where 12 tribe where sign? What's that? Where's their 12 tribe sign? Where their camps at? Well, they're reprobates. Out there teaching. They wait. Who, what you waiting for? The scriptures warn us about guys like that. The, the, uh, who's that said that? Uh, they shall be false teachers among you. Even right. as... Uh, mm. They, they were false teachers among the people, something yeah, like that. Yeah, that was the Apostle Paul, right? I think it was Apostle Paul, either Peter or, or Paul said. Right. Go ahead. Bro. Okay. Uh, First John. Four oh, and that one. was Pete, the Apostle Peter. Apostle Shall Peter. bring in damnable heresies. Damnable heresies. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's that group among many. You got many groups bringing. Hey, uh, I hate to say that group Sakari with the sticks, the, the modeling with the guns, and that's a damnable heresy. Produce one scripture where Yahweh Shai took a sword and went after the Romans. Just one. Show us one scripture. Well, they ain't going after the Romans. They ain't going after the Romans. Trust me. The Romans kick their ass. Yep. But the fact that you have that. Well, what, that's them. That's them. What, what kind of spirit they, are they people say, so you guys, talk, to your mess, you guys, no, 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 no. You're talking about Sakari. Right. deal with them. Right. If and they're licensed and shit, that's on them. That's them. We're not even talking about them guys no more. Exactly. They're persona non grata at yeah. this particular point in time. Yeah, for real, man. What scripture did yep. Yahweh Shai do that? Is Yahweh Shai, when Peter took his sword and chopped off the air of Malchus, Yahweh Shai uh, uh, scolded Peter for that. He said, put up thy sword. They that live by the sword shall perish by the sword. Did you guys never read that scripture? Go ahead. First John 4 and 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, <laughs> but try the spirits whether they are of the most high. And that's our job, brothers. We're supposed to try. You don't just accept anybody. Oh, man. You know, you're supposed to test their spirit, see if they really have the Holy Spirit within them. And that's what we did to you, Vocab. We listened to what you said. It's crap. Right. Yeah. It's you scrutinized. don't have the Holy Spirit, man. Far from it. Go ahead, bro. Because many... If you had the Holy Spirit, number one, you wouldn't have that stupid hat on your head when you try to teach the Bible, man. That's number one. Let's start there. The Apostle Paul clearly man ought not to cover his head he dishonor of his head well maybe he don't know that piece so. go ahead bro <laughs> it says because many false prophets are gone out into the world mm -hmm. 
uh, hereby know ye the spirit of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Every spirit that confesseth that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh. If he came in the flesh, what did he that flesh look like? He had right. to have a right. right. What did he look like? Right. He had to actually be a person. Yeah, he wasn't a jellyfish. Right. Wasn't the spirit either. Wasn't That's there. right. And hey, you he people said that it's... said nobody ever saw it. How, who, then who did they put up on the cross then? When yeah. they crucify the spirit? Can you crucify a spirit? He said the spirit have not flesh and bones as you see me have. Ooh. They're going to see him when he comes <laughs> back down. Give me uh, Isaiah, what is that? I believe it's Isaiah 52 verse 13. I get it. I got, I got one. Uh, after Isaiah you get that. Isaiah 52 verse 13. Try that. Yep. Because when he comes out the heavens, if he looks like a damn white man, that that that's not him. Exactly. <laughs> that what you call that project? What you call that? Blue beam. Blue beam? Oh yeah. yeah. That's blue beam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna have a lot of niggas. Oh God, oh, Jesus! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came back. Yeah, yeah. To save my black ass. And what they don't realize is really what they're worshiping. The Caesar Bojan is fucking yeah. Oh, especially you fucking Latin tribe. Oh yeah. But yeah. even going back before Caesar, they're worshiping Serapis Christus. Same, was, the same thing. Yeah, which was same a god, thing. which was a god given to you. The same devil. Which was a god, a different name. Right. Yep, a god given to you by Ptolemy the first. You gotta do your research, <clears> man. <throat> when Ptolemy came into power, Ptolemy he had a title called Soda. Soda means savior. savior yeah. He announced himself as the savior of Egypt, and you had many Israelites living in Egypt. And he was a white man. And he was a so-called so white man. Understand. So <laughs> that's right. And you had many Israelites living in Egypt, bound down to this guy. Then he gave you. Uh, his son as a god, and he put the title, the Greek title, Jesus Christos. Jesus Christos means Jesus Christ. So that's where you get your so-called white man Jesus from. You got to do the research, man. But you know what Hosea 4 and 6 says? My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. That's knowledge that you don't know about. That's why you're quick to accept so-called white man Jesus. You don't even know the origin of it. Go ahead, bro. All right. Isaiah 52 and 13. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and extolled and be very high. As many as many were astonished at thee, his visage was so marred more than any man. Yeah, that's when they had him on the cross. That's when the, before even that's, before that's, that. Uh, Isaiah 52, 13. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Even before that, you had the trial, and he tells you. That that Yahushua was buffeted, he was slapped, probably was kicked, punched. The, fulf fulf the fulfillment of him being being uh, marred was with it, when it was with him. Yeah, when he was with him. Yep. Mm -hmm. And when the Lord come back, he going he going oh, he going to oh, cries he gonna fuck you up. He's going to turn the devils inside out. Man. Mm -hmm. He's he's going to do a number on you. And uh, you know uh, when they when Joseph of Arimathea, and I, I, I believe it was by another man, I forgot the other man's mm -hmm. name. When they got the body, it, it took them a while to clean that body. They had to clean the body and anoint oh, yeah. it for burial. Yeah. Because Yahweh had many wounds, wounds, man. Oh yeah. He, he looked terrible, you know. And there's a day. Scriptures tell us there's a day in the kingdom where we're going to see Yahweh as he was when he was on the cross. He's going to show us as he was when he was on the cross, man. Good. As many as many were astonished at thee, his visage was so marred more than any man. And his form more than the sons of men. Mm -hmm. So so shall he sprinkle many nations. The Israelites that are scattered among the nations. Yep. <clears throat> the kings shall shut their mouths at him. For that which had had not been told them that shall they so called black. Man. Uh, ooh, that's, it. that's right. And that which they had not heard shall they consider. Yep. They're gonna consider. They're gonna consider that you're gonna see a big yep. so-called black man with a bunch of other black men that's yep. gonna come down and they're gonna hit and invade your world. That's uh, it. The invasion of the world. Yeah, yeah. rock your world. The real war of the world. Yeah, I got yeah. a real. Yep. It ain't gonna be the little green men from Mars yeah. either. It's gonna be Howard Shine the angels. Go ahead. I got one. This is uh, Revelation one and seven. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. And the top wicked elite knows this. That's why uh, recently uh, uh, Donald Trump called for a sixth branch, military branch, in outer space. Why? Yeah. Why does he want to pol police outer space? Because they know the prophecy. They know that Yahushai and the angels are coming back to invade their world. Yeah, because the Lord is coming back to redeem us. Right. Um, and they're going to stop, stop, attempt to stop. 
the Lord from redeeming us, but they're gonna get they're gonna get fucked up. Slaughtered. And that's they're gonna get slaughtered. Yep. And that's pursuant to second uh Ezra's the thirteenth chapter. Yep. Ezra saw it in a vision. He saw it. Vividly. He saw it vividly. He describes it to the damn near the finest detail. Yeah. yeah when okay. that was going on, that was the same thing that was going on when John saw it in Revelation eighteen. Yeah. And that's why Revelation eighteen, that's a that's yeah, a, we're gonna go back. Hell of a, a <laughs> hell of a chapter right there. Yeah, yeah. And we started one of, out with one, that of, one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. Is there more? Are oh, uh, you finished with that? Uh, yes, sir, we yeah. still we still in um second Maccabees. Second Maccabees. Second Maccabees. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So go ahead. Okay. Um, Read that oh, last verse of yeah. the second second Maccabees. Second Maccabees. Okay, let me see here. Yeah, I think it's uh, Six yeah. and six is it? Six and six, yeah. Second Maccabees chapter six is verse six. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient fasts or to profess himself oh. at all to be a Jew. Right. And, right. and in that okay. and in, read this real quick, Pastor Todd. This is a Hellenization. Right? Hellenization is the adoption of Greek culture, religion, language, and identity by non Greeks. In the ancient period, colonization often led to the Hellenization of indigenous peoples. In the Hellenistic period, many of the territories which were conquered by Alexander the Great were Hellenized. Um, etymology, it says the first known use of the verb, which means to Hellenize, was in Greek. And by Thucydides, 5th century BC, who wrote that the Amphilochians Argives were Hellenized as to their language by the Ambrosiots, where which shows that the word perhaps already referred to more than language. The similar word Hellenism, which is often used as a synonym, is used in 2 Maccabees, circa 124 <coughs> BC, and the book of Acts, circa 80 to 90 AD, to refer to clearly much more than language. Uh, though yeah, it, the way you life, yep. the way you dressed, you wore a hat, food yep. you ate. the food that you ate, the religion, the religion was the religion of worshiping uh, Zeus, or as they call him, Jupiter. Right. Yeah, you had, uh, then later came uh, Diana of Ephesus. You know, the whole concept of hell yeah. came from the Greeks. Yeah. And it was given to the uh, the Roman Catholics. Right. And when you went to hell, the, uh, what was it, it was three, Levels of hell, I think the, oh, yeah, I think the Roman Catholics call it nine levels, but then nah, yeah. the first thing that you meet is a three-headed dog. Yeah, you just mentioned that. That's, is, is, that is that true, Vocab Malone? <laughs> what is that, Cerubus? I believe that was the name, yeah. yeah. Three-headed mutt. I think, I think that came from Dante, too, the nine levels of hell. Dante is in front. Yep. Uh, Which is uh, what the apostle, I think it was Peter who said, we have not followed cunningly devised fables. That's what it is. Hell is a cunningly devised mm -hmm. fable. Yeah. Where we at? Second Maccabees six and seven. And in that day, the king's bur uh, and in that day, the and that slacking, and in the day of the king's birth, every month they were brought by bitter constraint to eat of the sacrifices, which was pig. Forced. When he defiled the temple, he put a pig up in there. Sacrifice to him. Go ahead. Abomination. And when the wait a minute, that's the same thing Cain did. Yeah. Cain sacrificed. He sacrificed fruit. fruit. He saw. Yeah. So that's the seed of Edomites. Cain, man. You did, which proves you're the seed of Cain, the wicked one. Go ahead. And when the and when the fast of Bacchus was kept. Yep. Bacchus. The 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 Jews were compelled to go in procession to Bacchus. Carrying ivy, and you still have Bacchus to this very day. Yeah. Go to the islands. Carnival, right? You know, Bacchanal. Yeah. Okay. Bacchanal is uh, they celebrate that in Trinidad. Another name was uh, started with a D. Dionysus. Dionysus. Oh, yeah. Bacchus. The goddess. The god Which of wine. Which was you all like the car carnival. They have in Brazil yeah. right now as we speak. Yeah, that yeah. goes back to Bacchus. Right, right. Bacchus. Mardi, Mardi Gras. Right. Mardi Gras. Fat Tuesday. Exactly. exactly. Fat Tuesday. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Trinidad, you have the Bacchanal, Bacchanal. celebration. They riot till the early morning. And you notice all the women are, are scantily clad. Yep. They got barely they, they, wearing anything. Yeah, they got their ass hanging out, yep. dancing. Yep. Yep. That's why the most high is going to burn them women up in the men. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The most high is going to burn more Israelites than he's going to save. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Absolutely. And he's going to and he's going to show you no mercy either. Yep. Because every last one of you, there's no excuse. Mm -hmm. yep. it, you you at one time or another came across a GMS video. Yep. Yeah, he didn't have mercy during the time of Noah. 
when the house I said that for as the days of Noe uh, <coughs> were so shall be the days of the coming of the son of man there was no mercy for those people that perished during Noah's time they drowned to death man. no matter how hard they hit on that boat that ark Noah couldn't let them in right. because the scriptures tell you that the heavenly father shut the door right, right. Noah didn't close the door the heavenly father shut the door Go ahead, uh, Rio de Janeiro that started Wednesday, April 20th. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, and and look at that. April, ends... 20th, April 20th. Now, April 20th coincides with the Feast of the Beast. Yeah, April 19th. April, yeah. Yeah. April 19th to May 1st is, is 13 satanic days called the Feast of the Beast. Guess when it ends? May 1st. April 30th. Oh, April, close enough. That's close. Yeah, yeah. Now, April 30th is also a, a high holy satanic day. I think it's called Walpurgis Night. Walpurgis Night. If, if, if you look up, if you do the research. See, the scriptures say we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. See, the days that he worships his high holy days and when he does human sacrifice and all of that. We're not ignorant of that. Yeah, because that was what they did. They dally with harlots in the temple. You know, they were going around butt naked having orgies. And that's what they do in those different satanic rituals. There you go. That's it. All right, second Maccabees six and eight. Moreover, there went out a decree to the neighbor cities of the heathen by the suggestion of Ptolemy against the Jews that they should observe the same fashions and be partakers of their sacrifices. Yeah, this is the same Ptolemy that gave you Serapis Christus, which is where you get your so-called white man Jesus from. That's the same Ptolemy right there, Ptolemy Soda. Go ahead. And whoso would not conform themselves to the manners of the Gentiles should be put to death. So that's why Jake switched over because they didn't want to die. So what happened? They taught their children that and their children taught their children. And then they were no longer Israelites. They didn't call themselves Israelites no more. They weren't circumcised. They were eating pork. They, the laws were taken away from them, the laws of the Most High. So guess what? How did, how did they come back in the fold? They came back, back in the fold during the time of uh, the apostles. Mm -hmm. Cornelius was a major guy who, whose parents, 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 parents had to go back to, to either this. Because you got to understand that Helen, the, the Hellenization didn't happen in just Greece. It happened all over that they took over. The provinces that they made, yep. they Hellenized them. All right? They, they so, there was, so there was a certain amount of Israelites that, that were living in the lands that knew that they were Israelites, kept the law, statutes, and commandments. And there were others that they didn't know nothing. Just like us. Before we became Israelites, we didn't know we were. We were just black Negroes, West Indians, whatever, Puerto Ricans. Yeah. We went to Roman Catholic Church. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did the communion and yep. Baptist, whatever, whatever yep. church you went to. Man. Jump from uh, one religion. Wooden stone. Yep. I got a quick Some of you niggas, niggas became uh, Muslim. And Muslim, that's a, that's a hard that's demon. Even to shake off. Because we ain't met one J that was in Islam that came into Israel. It's the only true. ones that came into Israel are Jakes that are following Christianity. Yeah, it's true. Them, that's, you see a Muslim, just let him walk on down the street. Yeah, especially if you perfected the accent. Oh, man. Alhamdulillah. Man, if you perfected that, ain't no hope for that nigga. Hey, like you, you said right? years ago, Pastor, dude, he, he was born in uh, the South. Willa Coochie. He, he Willa Coochie, Coochie, Georgia. And then all of a sudden he starts speaking with an Arabic accent. That nigga, that nigga that can't speak uh, Arabic. <laughs> uh, nigga ain't been outside of Georgia, but he got a fucking, uh, fucking Ishmaelite accent. Unbelievable. Man. Jake, quick, boy. That's why the most is going to kill you. Why trim his thou thy ways to seek love, man? Yeah, the Arabs were part of the slave trade. Yeah. They're the ones yep. that yeah. uh, uh, took part in the slave trade and selling you. you know? Has a nation changed their God, which are yet no gods? Yep, this is Ephesians 2 and 11. It says, Wherefore remember that ye, being in time past Gentiles. Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. And that was another uh, law that... Um, that uh, Antiochus did away with the law of circumcision. He, he gave an edict that we would, that our fathers would stop circumcising their uh, sons, and that that was a covenant that the heavenly Father gave us, man. Mm. Going back to our forefather Abraham, right? Abraham became circumcised. Isaac, Jacob. So that right. was a heavy law that the heavenly Father gave us, 
And here comes this upstart, Antiochus Epiphany, said, no, no more circumcising of your sons. Right. So that's why we became known as the uncircumcision. Right. That's where the Apostle Paul came back and said, you know you were Gentiles. Exactly. You know, because it says, don't walk as other Gentiles do in the imagination of their mind. They, right. You know, because you were in a different space. Now you were brought back through the mercy of Yahweh Shai, and now you're back, you know, in your right mind. Yeah, and a, and a good example is um, you had uh, Titus, the Apostle Paul, trying to compel Titus to become circumcised. Yeah, he was the Apostle Paul circumcised, uh, had, uh, had Timothy right. circumcised. And this is right after they, they said, they gave the decree that you didn't have to be circumcised, the, the Israelite foreigners, you know? But shows you that Timothy was an Israelite. Come on, man. Is there more? Is there more? Uh, it's, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, yep. It says, And whoso would not conform themselves to the manners of the Gentiles should be put to death. And then, Seriously. you know, the laws that the Heavenly Father gives, they're common sense laws. Mm -hmm. uh, I did a video a long time ago. The so called Chinese men, they don't get circumcised. And you know what? They have a high rate of cancer, of, of, of uh, penis now. cancer. Yeah. Okay? So the laws that the heaven, he didn't just give us laws. Okay, here's a law for you. No, right. his laws is common sense laws. When he said not to eat the pig, there's a, there's a reason for that. The right. pig is a is an extremely filthy animal. The pig is was created to clean the earth. Right. It's the garbage men, for lack of a better term, of the earth. Of the earth. So the law told us don't eat that. Don't even touch the carcass of the pig. The reason why you are uh, cut the foreskin of the penis off, off because when you were being formed in, your, in the womb of the belly, the womb, that had to be protected. Right. right. So once you came out, just like this, do you leave your uh, uh, umbilical, no. Uh, uh, no. what do you call it? Umbilical cord, cord, yeah. Do you just have it dangling? Nah. No, they, they cut it up, yeah. Because you know, there's no need for that. Yeah. Right. The purpose of the fucking umbilical cord, umbilical cord is it's to feed. nutrition yeah. to, to, your to your mother. Right. Tell to, to your mother. Get right to your stomach. Right into your stomach, man. Right. The same thing with the penis is to protect that. So once right. it came out, it said eight days. Why? Right. Because you, in eight eight days, you develop vitamin K. Vitamin K, yeah. Right? I remember. Yeah. <laughs> Prior yeah. to that, you didn't remember. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't. And vitamin K wasn't in your system. So if you did it beforehand, right. the baby will bleed out. Right. You know? That's why, like, when you cut yourself, you see the blood start clotting. Yeah, clotting. And you get yeah, the, right. uh, yeah, yeah, uh, what you call it, what's that called? The uh, scab. Scab. Yeah, 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 the water. Yeah, the Google thing went off. One way you might have to say But yeah, that, so that goes back to the point. The Lord gave us laws. He didn't just give us laws to be giving us laws. There's common sense and for you, behind. You know, right, and for you Christians, I'm sorry. And for yeah, you Christians, yeah. You say the law was done away with, and that's what you say. Oh, it's not under grace. We understand that. We understand that we're going to be saved by grace because we broke the laws. Right. But you say these, one thing these is the Christian, these client as Christians, they say the only way you can be saved is by uh, is by keeping the laws. No, we never said that. No, we we're never not said perfect, that. Man. That's right. It's that by grace are you saved, and not of, of yourself. Is it is the gift of the Most High. Right. Just like we and never. Furthermore, you're supposed to keep the laws anyway. That's it. If I look, if I ask a Christian, if you if you were having a sexual intercourse with your sister for years, nobody knew about it. Are you going to die and go to hell? They'll probably say yeah. I said, well, where's the Lord? The Lord. Now? The Lord never said that. The Lord never said you can't be a moat. Now Paul said it, but that was the Apostle Paul. When did the Lord say you can't be a moat? So what the fuck are you talking about? And then when you do a word search on the word Moses in the New Testament, do you know how many times the Lord mentions the law of Moses? He goes back to the law of Moses. Mm -hmm. So what the hell are you talking about, man? Right? right. Yeah, I got a. Hey, we, we don't. We can't do the away with the law just because of grace. Well, without law, Pastor, I think you said that last week. Without law, you have what chaos. Yeah. yeah. You have disorder. The law creates order. This is a pre precept. And this is why we, I say it again, vocab. We do not like to. We're not going to debate with you. We don't. If we know that you're coming, we, we're not going to be there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you're, you're a fucking clown. You don't understand the scripture. Right. It's a waste of time. Yep. Galatians three and twelve. Well, I started. The scriptures say mm -hmm. uh, concerning the Lord Himself. He said, "If I be lifted up, I mm. shall draw all men unto myself." Right. 
Ain't nobody being drawn to y'all motherfuckers, man. They leaving y'all. <laughs> That's right. That's right. right. Ain't nobody drawing. They go, they go, okay, let's go. Yeah. Where you at? Yeah. Where you gonna be at? Yeah. You gotta come to us. Why? I just, I just said it. Yeah, we got the light. If I be lifted up, I shall draw all, all men, men unto, unto myself. You. Yeah. you Christians gotta need us. We don't need you. Right. Yeah, he's like the moth to our flame, you know? Yeah. He's a big, fat head moth flying all retarded, yeah. you know, to our flame. It can't, it can't fly. Can't we'll keep flying keep around sitting. our flame, son. You're gonna get burned. <laughs> oh, the most I gonna burn you. MC Moth. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> MC Moth. Uh, Galatians 3 and 11, it says, but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of the Heavenly Father. Oh, it is man. evident for the just shall live by faith. Yep. Now, faith without works is what? Dead. Yeah, yeah. What is the works? The law, right? Now, check out the next verse. And the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. Right. Because the law, the laws that the Heavenly Father gave us are common sense laws. Right. I mean, they make the utmost, con They work. the laws work in tandem with the body. Like there's a dietary law, right? We're supposed to stick to that dietary law. Why? Because that's how your body functions at it at its best. Yeah. If you keep the dietary law. Yeah. The only reason we get sick now, even though we keep the dietary law, is because the earth is out of order. Why do? And the uh, chemicals and. Yep. yep. And, and why do we get sick? Because of sin. What is oh, sin? First yeah. John three and four. Transgression, Transgression of the law. Of the law. Hey, yeah. Having sex with a woman, there's laws in that. Yeah. That's covered in the scriptures. When you have sex with a woman. You're supposed to wash yourself. You're supposed to wash the sheets. Yep. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And there's a reason why the most I set it up where a woman can't lay with other men because she's going to bring diseases back to you. Yeah. Exactly. Not, not the other way around. You can right. have more than one woman. But not, right. now, if you're dealing with women that are dealing with other men, right. you're going to bring, it, you're gonna bring the disease back to your woman. Yep. yep. So everything's going to be in order. Huh? Yep. That's um, right. How's that screw? Uh, uh, for your. Turning of things upside down right. shall be esteemed as a part of clay. clay. That's, That's right. directed to you, Esau. You, in your rulership, you have turning upside down. Yeah. You're giving these women rights, you know. And the scripture, uh, recently, you had what, Katanji, what the hell is her name? She became, a, a, well, she's about to become Supreme Court, uh, court Justice. Uh, Katanji yeah. Jackson. Yeah, yeah, Jackson. Yeah, Jackson. Yeah. That's, and that don't mean shit. That don't mean shit. Yeah, but, but that's a flagrant violation of scripture. Yeah. Scripture yeah. say a woman is not to usurp authority over the men. A woman is not to, supposed to be a judge. What happened in God we trust? Yeah, what happened? What happened to a, a federal statute nine six dash one two one one? Is it one two one one in nineteen eighty three? Where you yep. ninety six dash eighty? Public law, I think it was. Public law, yeah, ninety six dash something eight. Well, you, you, you said you made a proclamation that the Bible will be the supreme law of the land. That was during uh, Ronald Reagan's uh, uh, reign. Error. Yep. Yep. Error. What happened to that? You don't follow the Bible, man. You're nothing but a hypocrite. That's why the Most High is going to destroy you, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, back in... And we're seeing your hypocrisy. And we're exposing it, too, through the power and spirit of Yahweh. Every nation should go to hell and forget, forget the devil, yeah, uh, forget God. Psalm 19, 917. Go to that. Right, right. Nation shall be turned into hell, that one. Yep, yeah, Psalm 917. Yep. Psalm 9 and 17. The wicked shall be turned into hell. Who's the wicked? Vocab. Edomites. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And all the nations. All, that, the, all the other nations. Go ahead. That forget the Heavenly Father. That forget the Heavenly Father. So all of you are going to hell. You're going to hell in the handbasket. <laughs> hey, give me give me Psalms 2. You know what I want. I, I got Matter it. Fact, yeah. your Psalms 2. Go right there. I, I got a quick one. Go ahead. Uh, this is Jeremiah 10 and 25. Pour out thy fury upon the heathen that know thee not, and upon the families that call not on thy name. For they have eaten up Jacob and devoured him and consumed him and have made his habitation desolate. Followed him through slavery when he brought us into slavery, he took everything from us. Yeah, that. new information yep. coming out that a lot of slave masters in the ships and slavery, they would actually eat in jail. Oh, my they were actually gosh. eating fucking jail. They oh, were like, you know, they had they would, yeah. the Sunday dinner, yeah. they would cut, cut up Jake and they would eat him. Well, Jeffrey These Dahmer. These people are fucking demons, devils, man. Yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer's proof of that. Jeffrey Dahmer was snacking on niggas. It's this America. One person in their right mind is going to eat another fucking person. Demonic. And then, and then uh, the, the 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 word Dama or the name Dama means blood. Blood, yeah. So that he had a heavy demon on him, man. He was snacking. He was snacking. Up. And those jakes that he was snacking on, they were homosexuals, just like him. 
<laughs> he, uh, I guess he liked dark meat. You said you call from Psalm 2? Uh, Psalm 2, uh, you can go right to the point. Um, go, go, go to like the 8 verse. Okay, Psalm 2 and 8. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. That's directed to us as Israelites. Mm -hmm. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, yep. and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. And that's talking about the nations too. Yeah. Because eventually they're going to have to kiss the oh, son. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All yep. right? Yep. Another one, Zechariah 14. Yes, yeah, Zechariah. You can start at 12. Yep. Okay, Zechariah 14. Zechariah 14 and 12. It says, uh, And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. That's right. And it shall come to and that's talking about nuclear radiation. Oh yeah. That's what the How Lindsay stepped back in my uh, 77. He said he sure did. The movie uh, The Late Great Planet Earth. Earth. That's the first time I heard that scripture breaking not broken down that time. Yeah, broke Long it down right. Before I came into the truth. Yeah. He said that they could be talking about nothing other than uh, nuclear. Uh, radiation, uh, radiation, fire, yeah. yeah. And it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from the Lord shall be upon them, and they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor, and his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. And Judah also shall fight at Jerusalem, and the wealth of all the heathen round about shall be gathered together, gold and silver. That's the kingdom. That's how the kingdom is going to be. The, the, the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, forever even forever and forever. So that's it. That's it too. That's the, that's the saying that goes hand in hand with that precept. Or the one in Isaiah, that gate shall be continually that open. Isaiah 60. Yep. Suck the milk of the Gentiles. Yep. Um, uh, 15 verse, and so shall be the plague of the horse and of the, mule, of, and of the mule and of the camel and of the ass and of all the beasts that shall be in these tents as the plague and it shall come to pass uh, that everyone that is left of all the nations which come against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the king the lord of hosts and to keep the feast of tabernacles wait a minute the Christians say the law is done away with well wait a minute this is talking about a future prophecy in the kingdom yeah and the feast of tabernacles that goes back to the law that's right so how the hell is the law done away with no your understanding of the bible is done away with well you never really had it right <laughs> um through uh yeah through uh 19th verse this shall be the punishment of egypt and the punishment of all nations that not that come not up to keep the feast of so are we going to be punishing people in the kingdom are oh, we yeah. going to be whipping people in the kingdom oh yeah are we going to be working them in slavery in the kingdom you got damn right that's right this is going to happen in the kingdom yeah and by the way that's in the old testament so you Old Test, uh, you New Testament Israelites, you got a problem. Yeah, you got a problem. Uh, in that day, shall there be upon the bells of the horses holiness unto the Lord, and the pots in the Lord's house shall be like the bowls before the altar, sanctified. Yep. Yea, every pot in Jerusalem, and in Judea, uh, and in Judah, shall be holiness unto the Lord of hosts. That kind of links up with. Uh, Ezekiel 36, I will spring clean water upon you yep. and cleanse you from all your uncleanliness. Mm -hmm. That's going to happen in the kingdom. We're going to get those uh, new bodies. Right. Apostle Paul said that. Uh, 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 the fleshy the, heart. Yeah. Uh, if, uh, corruption. Shall put on incorruption. Yeah. Shall put on incorruption. Yeah. Right. We uh, shall all be changed. We shall all be changed. And then the laws inserted inside. Yeah, so right. I thought the laws are done away with. And, and every Israelite is going to have his melanin. You ain't gonna have no Israelite looking like like now. You have Israelites looking like so-called white people. You ain't gonna have that in the kingdom. Right. You, you you had the brother from England. His wife had a dream. She saw herself in the kingdom, and she was looking at the street. And she was in Jerusalem. She looked down. She a saw reflection. Yeah, yeah. Because the street is gonna be like transparent. Oh, it's yeah. gonna be like pure gold. Yeah. And she saw herself a reflection of herself. She, and the brother said she looked like a so-called black woman. That's what his woman told him. Right. So that confirms it. That was a hell of a dream. Yeah. That was actually a vision. Yeah, yeah. You know? 
Yea, every part in Jerusalem and in Judah shall be holiness unto the Lord of hosts, and all they that sacrifice shall come and take of them and seed therein, and in that day there shall be no more the Canaanite in the house of the Lord of hosts. Boom. 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 Yeah. Yeah, that fulfills uh, Amos, Amos 9 yep. and 12, uh, Obadiah 1, around the last couple of the verses. Done. That we, uh, Esau, we're going to take the remnant of Edom, is talking about the lamb of Edom. Yep. Because there's not going to be any need for them to have that lamb because they're going to be scattered among the Israelites right. as slaves. That's right. And every last one of you going into slavery. <clears throat> All right, so give me uh, second Maccabees 4, verse 9. We're going to read that. I got them. Second Maccabees chapter 4, verse 9. Besides this, he promised to assign 150 more if he might have license to set him up a place for exercise and for the training up of youth in the fashions of the heathen and to write training them up the Israelite boys and the youth in the fashions of the heathen yep. public school yeah. right but that's the gym but it's the same thing public yeah, yeah, like yeah. A, uh, yep. concentration yep. <laughs> this is heavy right here this is a cold cut Go ahead. and to write them of Jerusalem by the name of Antiochians Come on, man. Greeks. There's no difference between the Greek and the Jew or the Jew and the Greek. And that proves that they're Edomites because uh, Psalm 49, 11 says, they, they, their thought is that the houses shall continue, continue forever. forever. They yep. call their lands after, the, after their own names. Yep. Where do you think Alexandria, Egypt came from? Right. It came from Alexander the Greek who yep. conquered that land. Good. Which when the king had granted and he had, and he had gotten into his hand the rule he forthwith brought his own nation to Greekish fashion. <laughs> and the royal the really Greekish fashion goes back to Babylonian, yep. Egyptian fashion. The, the scripture tells us there's no need to the, the sun. sun. Right. Greekish well, told him dressed up as the Egyptians. The Egyptians. So oh, they were man. following what? They were following the, the old ancient Babylonian, ancient Egyptian customs. All they yep. did was put a new face on it. That's all they did. Which, which once again shows you Esau is not prolific. Yep. Esau is not a creator. He's a destroyer. He's not a creator. He's a plagiarizer. We're the creators. Yeah, I wish I said we're the salt of the earth. We got the flavor. Go ahead, bro. It says, and the royal privilege is granted of special favor to the Jews by the means of John, the father of Eupolemus, who went and ambassador to Rome for amity and aid. He took away and putting down the government's which were according to the law, he brought up new customs against the law. That's why you had so many Israelites that were being called Gentiles by the other Jews. And that's yeah. why Paul had to go to them. That's why yeah. he said, I am the apostle of the Gentiles, therefore I magnify my office. Man, come on, man. I got a quick precept to back up what I just read there. Psalm 50, 16, and 17. But unto the wicked, the heavenly father saith, what is thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction, and in verse, cast verse you went? 17 verse. Read the 16. Uh, unto the wicked, the heavenly Father saith, What is thou Esau. to do? What is thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction, and casteth my words behind thee. That's it. Just a little bit more. We, we don't look at this. Um, it says, When thou sawest a thief, thou consentest with him, and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, thy tongue frameth deceit. deceit. That's a good example you just read there. Mm -hmm. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thine own mother's son. Jacob and Esau. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such and one as thyself. And that's one of the reasons they put up their picture as God, the Son of God, the angels. But I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Rick being set up in order before your eyes. And you're being reproved. And they stood upon their feet, their feet in great fear fell upon, upon them. So let's let's go back Come. to... Uh, Second Maccabees 4 read, verse... Ninth verse again. Okay, ninth verse again, okay. Verse 9, besides this, he promised to assign an 150 more if he might have license to set him up a place for exercise and for the training up of youth in the fashions of the heathen 
and to write them of Jerusalem by the name of Antiochians. And let, let's not forget to mention they were uh, practici uh, practicing in, in the new, but naked, oh, yeah. which is an abomination in, in the sight of the Lord. Yeah. You know, rods hanging out, totally yeah, naked. You go to these gyms, these modern gyms, you got women in there with the tights on, yep. and they're all hoes. All of them are hoes, oh, right? Yep. Yeah, gym, yeah. So the, well, we call them thoughts. They're yeah, hoes, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And believe me, that woman that you see working out with a fat ass, she done, she done grow all kind of uh, mushroom Run, yeah. tips. Dirty mushroom tips. <laughs> Dirty, Dirty mushroom, mushroom tips. tips, man. These, the black woman is a fucking hoe. Man. All in oh, there. Nobody want to be with a hoe. Big time. She done work the room. She done work the room a couple of times. Yeah, that brother did a video, uh, the brother um, from South Carolina, Elder Minatsaki did a video, he showed a clip of, I think it was TikTok, a woman grabbing, it looked like a joystick, but it was really a, a dick, a phallus, which give, you had, she was battling another woman to see who could make it uh, come Dude. faster. Black woman? And then she's the one who won, she was like, she, like she achieved something great, you know? Hey, when I saw that, I just shook my head like, you know, black women? Yeah, there were two, two so black women. With, with, with we down to all we got, All we got, all we got, all we got is the only game that the most had left us to play is to deal with hoes, man. Yeah. Damn. The woman that had been with other men. Yeah. Oh, well, that, that, wait a minute, that's uh, Amos, I got a scripture to back up, and that's Amos 7 and 17. Amos 7 and 17, it says, uh, it says, therefore, thus saith the Lord, thy wife shall be an harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword. And Jake is killing each other, alarm and rape with the gun, you know. That's the prophecy right there. And thy land shall be divided by line. Well, you got the Balfour Declaration. One line, uh, you got the so-called Jews. They got the best part of the land. The other part of the land is uh, the so-called Arabs have it. So our land has been divided, the Balfour Declaration. And thou shalt die in a polluted land, America, and Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. We went into captivity, slavery. So Amos 7 and 17 happened to a T, man. It said our, our wife should, should be what? A harlot in the city. Come on, man. Go ahead, bro. Uh, 2 Maccabees 4 and 10. Which when the king had granted and he had gotten into his hand the rule, he forthwith brought his own nation to Greekish fashion. And the royal privileges granted of special favor to the Jews by the means of John, the father of Eupolemus, who went ambassador to Rome for amity and aid. He took away and putting down the governments which were according to the law, he brought up new customs against the law. Yeah, you mentioned that word privileges. That's what we have now. You, know, you got to get a license from this devil. Right. That's, that ain't nothing but a privilege. Right. Yep. For something that naturally the heavenly Father gave Privilege can be taken away. Right. Yep. Right. Yeah, yeah. privilege is... Right. A right can't be taken away. Yeah. We, we have the uh, uh, un, unalienable... Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Unalienable. Right. Unalien, unalienable rights. Meaning rights that cannot be separated from... Unalienable. Yeah. Unalienable, yeah. yeah. We have the right to, to have you devils in slavery. That's how, hey, you got something called the divine right of kings. Guess who the kings are? And we're going to. The oh, kings yeah. are us. You, by my divine right. You know, you've seen the old uh, uh, English type movies with the, with the king. Yep. The guy who plays the king, he might say that. By my divine right. But guess what? That's a, the Bible. That's our divine right. We have the right to put you put you in slavery. And we will put you in slavery. And the most I'm putting the spirit for you to move quick. He's moving things up. Oh, yeah. Because, uh, you know, we were talking about this coming down here, about all these uh, meat packing plants and these food processing plants. Yep. Uh, either a plane hits them, and a fire catch, and we know what's going on. Yeah. The average person out there don't know what the hell's going on. It's stupid. Gross darkness to people. Gone. Isaiah 60 and 2, gross darkness to people. It ain't lying. And this is all leading to one thing. We can't even say the acronym, acronym no more. Yeah. You say the acronym, they're going to take it take, down. Take M to the O to the T to B. Well, you, they might take it down now. Because <laughs> cause remember, years ago, you, we, we used to put out put them videos out and spell it out. And they never took it down. We used to be able the to do The videos are still up there, the old video. Yeah. 
five years ago, yep, ten yep. years ago. But recently, within the last, I don't know, year and a half, two years, anytime you say that, dealing with the M, the M to the O. Right. M to the Izzo. <laughs> what they do is they take this shit, they took down this guy. Um, Farrell said that. Because he did a video breaking it down. He, he entitled it, who will get the, the, the M. Right. You know, the M to the O. That's the and M. I said in the video, I said, look, they're going to take this guy's thing down and show him if they took it down. That's the M to the Izzo, B man, to the Izzo. Yeah, yeah, what you say, man, orange tree boy. <laughs> mm, oh, yeah. You know, like well, how, just how, said we know. You yeah. can just say you can change ma, ma. Then you're gonna get hit with the ma. Hey, you know, like how the cops when they call <laughs> juicy out, juice. when they call out license plates, Adam, Adam yeah. Lincoln. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Say L. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Getting hit with the matba. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Man. Verse twelve, for he built gladly a place of exercise under the tower itself, and brought the chief young men under his subjection, and made them wear a hat. Oh, made them wear a hat. That's what you have now. You have the, the hats with the brim. So you, you ain't supposed to be wearing hats. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's a car. That's what he says. He made you wear a hat. That's a Greekish custom. It's a yeah. Greekish custom. That's a custom Dread against locks. the law. Dread long hair for men. That's a Greekish custom. Yep. Dread locks is a Greekish custom. A heathenistic custom. Damn, they, they, they said that. Made them wear a hat. hat. How do you get around that? It says, now such was the height of Greek fashions. Fitted. Yeah. fitted, yeah. Now so Jake, Jake be wearing the hat. That's how we know it's wicked. Because Jake love it too much, man. Anything that Jake really love, is, <laughs> it ends up, it ends up being wicked. Right Something ain't right about it. It says, um, now such was the height of Greek fashions. So that's a Greek fashion. A hat, a fitted, that's a Greek fashion. <laughs> now, they're gonna get now I don't know if this is it, but they have a. Oh. You ain't supposed to be wearing no fittings. <laughs> <laughs> no, go on. They, they, <laughs> they have a ancient Greek Macedonian hat called the Kausia. Yeah, it looks just like a, a New York Yankees. Let me, let me see. I don't know if we can have to make it. It's kind of like roundish. Oh yeah, yeah, look, yeah, look like a one of the. That's a kangle. Well, yeah, it looked like a kangle. Kangle hat. Kangle kid. Yeah, back in the day, them rappers used to wear the hell out of them. LL Cool J used to wear the hell out of them. I know, I used to wear them too. Yeah, that was a shit. That was a Greekish fashion. Greekish fashion. Where that the was shell, the shell Adidas. Shell to Adidas, yeah. Shell to Adidas, which I used to hate them fucking kids. I used to wear them, but I, I, they, they're not athletic shoes. Nah, nah. They were never they, really comfortable. They, they, no, nah, they, they were hard. They just, they just had a look to them. Big fat shoelaces. Yep, the fat shoelaces. Yep. yep. Then they put, I don't know, you know, they put, they started putting the sock inside and, and, and uh, built, doubling it up to make it kind of puffy. That was around, my, you know. Make, make the, the, the shoes. Yeah, to make this part here like be fatter. Oh, okay, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. They, you know, you yeah. you put one sock like right on the tip of your feet, yeah, yeah, and then you roll it, it up, and then yeah. you put the other sock right, right, on right, top right. with the, with the big shoes. fat loose. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the bunion, the bunion look. Uh, so it says, um, now such was the height of Greek fashions, and increase of heathenish manners. Though, uh, so it's heathenish to wear that. Yep. <laughs> It says, through the exceeding profaneness of Jason, that ungodly wretch and no high priest. Well, we got guys in uh, Israel doing that now, bringing in profane uh, customs, man. Wearing hats. Profane. He's not supposed to be wearing hats, period. Come on, man. Profane custom. Profane means outside the temple. When did the Lord ever wear hats? Huh? When did King David ever? They wore crowns. They right. They wear hats. Crowns. And then, and then, yeah, and the crown has an opening. Right. For the and as an opening for, for the spirit, yeah. yeah. Now, when you wear a garment with a hat, the fit it don't look right, you, you look stupid, yeah, yeah, yeah. You look stupid, tell you like it is. Tell it like it is. It says that the priests had no courage to serve anymore at the altar, but despising the temple and neglecting the sacrifices, hastened to be partakers of the unlawful allowance in the place of exercise. After the game of discus called them forth. Yeah, the, the whole Olympics, the ancient Olympics. Yeah, yeah so pretty much they were giving up the priesthood to go deal with the Greekish fashions. 
They wanted to go to that Out instead. And athletics. Yep. Yeah, and, and that's um, and, and that's why it, it's aptly Ooh, known in the scriptures man. as the abomination of desolation. Desolation, yeah. desolation yeah. which make yeah. it desolate. Yep. You can thank uh, Antiochus. Then they desolated the priesthood. Yeah. Right. You mean to tell me that? You know what I want to say? That cock. You know. You mean to tell me he's not going to pay, man? Oh yeah. Good. It says not setting by the honors of their fathers but liking the glory of the Grecians best of all. So even the priest got caught up in that. It says, by reason where some calamity came upon them, it says, for they had them so, I'm sorry, for they had them to be their enemies and avengers whose custom they follow so earnestly and unto whom they desire to be like in all things. But they love the world. Love not the world. Right. These are things that are in the world. And if you love the world, love the Father is not in you. And so you, you got a lot of jakes yeah. that are in that love this world, man, that love their careers. Yeah. Right. So the most high gonna leave them. He gonna make he gonna make them take that chip and they're gonna they're gonna get destroyed. Right. And the apostle Paul knew about all this history back then. You know? So this is why he would mention certain things like certain Olympic games and racing and boxing and stuff like yeah. that to convey a message to them of salvation. Yeah, and plus they could relate because those he, those Israelites he was talking to, they were heavy into that. The right. Jews wasn't and those heavy were, into it. Those were heathens. Those right. were those yeah. heathens. Yep. Right? The Israelite heathens, if you want to, you know. So they could relate to that. So right. when he mentioned that, well, he said, I became all things to, to all, all men. men. That I might save some. That he might save some. So you notice he said, save some. The wacky tacky Christian will tell you, Every, everybody can be saved. Mm -hmm. Just look, <laughs> Jesus has stretched out his hand to you. He wants to heal you. <laughs> That's that's dudes, why everybody is leaving Christianity. Man, that dude's a comical, man. Jesus has stretched out his hand to you. He wants you to come to him. And it's a, and it's a white man. Yeah, so-called white man. Vocab, you need to give it up. You need to fucking retire <laughs> or something because ain't nobody following that Christianity. Right. The more you do a video, the more people leave Christianity, man. You better off keep messing with them Muslims. Hey, the same the same Jesus that fired you off your job. is <laughs> open, open his arms to you. He yeah, wants yeah. you to come. Give your heart to Jesus. Yeah, damn white man. Yeah. Look like a fucking hippie. Wow. Where we at? Uh, verse 17. More? Yep. It says, For it is not a light thing to do wickedly against the laws of the Most High, but the time following shall declare these things. Now when the game that was used every faith, uh, now when the game that was used every faith year, was kept at Tyrus. Con. Uh, year was kept at Tyrus, the king being present. This ungracious Jason sent special messengers from Jerusalem who were Antiochian, Jakes. And, and to this very day, Jake loved the Olympics, man. Oh, yeah. Boxes. I'm, a, I'm an Olymp I, uh, I, I won my titles in the uh, Olympics. I'm a boxer. I fought in the Olympics. They, like that's a well, I would, major I would think that, that, that the Apostle Paul got into it too. Yeah. You know, since he mentioned it. That was like a major achieve, right. achievement for them. And then you notice right right before the Olympics, they set that pit on fire. Now there's a video of uh, uh, Muhammad Ali. He's all shaking. The 96 yeah. Olympics. Yeah, he's so that's he the barely... year yeah. Mayweather for. Yeah, he man. He got robbed in Atlanta. That was Atlanta. That was yeah. when you uh, Oh, oh yeah, check that yeah, out. Check yeah. that out. Yeah, he... Uh, he could barely hold the oh. torch and he you know he just had to do it though. supposed to be every fifth year oh yeah right no no in the, in the actual olympics is every four years maybe right. back there it was every fifth, fifth five year, year yeah so they changed it yeah well you know esau got a put a little spin to it it says uh this ungracious jason sent special messengers from jerusalem who were antiochians to carry 300 drachms of silver to the sacrifice of Hercules, yep. which even the bearers thereof thought uh, fit not to bestow upon the sacrifice because it was not convenient but to be reserved for other charges. This money then in regard of the sender was appointed to Hercules' sacrifice, but because of the bearers thereof it was employed to making of galleys. Uh, now, now, when Apollonius, the son of Menestheus, was sent into Egypt 
for the coronation of King Ptolemaeus Philo Philometer, Antiochus, understanding him not to be well affected, affected to his affairs, provided for his own safety, whereupon he came to Joppa and from uh, thence to Jerusalem. And that was pretty much the main. All right, so now let's go from there to uh, 1 Maccabees 1, verse 11 to 15. And then we're going to jump from the 15th verse to the 41st verse. Read it down. Okay, got this up. Perfect. And 11. Okay, 15. All right, uh, 1 Maccabees 1, verse 11. In those days when there are out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. Mm. For since we... So this is the history behind Jake, the, you know, uh, following the uh, following the, uh, the Greekish fashion, Greekish yeah. ways. All right? For, for since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. The privileges. License means a privilege. Uh, That's what we have in this society. We have privileges. Go ahead. Uh, whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathen. Yes, yeah, uh, the, Olympic, the Olympic Games. And the build up every five years, you had gyms that you went to right, to right. build up your muscles, you know? Right. Same thing with, right now. No, Same right. goddamn thing. Yep. yep. Well, that's why the scriptures say there's no new thing under the sun. Good. And made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves that's, to the you, that's talking about Israel, right? Yeah. Which yeah. did what? What did, they, what did they do? It says they made themselves uncircumcised. Made themselves uncircumcised. And forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to the do... The other nation, that's yeah. why they were called heathen. Go ahead. And and were sold to do mischief. mischief yeah. yep. Now, now when... The, that was 15. Now jump first forty one was it? Okay. Now when the kingdom was established before Anti Antiochus, he thought to reign over Egypt that he might have the dominion of two realms. Yeah, that's that whole Solutions. Daniel eleven chapter. Yes, yeah, so Those series of uh, Syrian wars. Syrian. You know what that goes into something else. And Let's jump down to the forty first verse. And that was and the, read down to fifty three. That was gonna read like 10, 12 verses now. Yeah. That was for the conquest of all of Egypt. Right? Exactly, because they were going against each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Egypt was the main uh, hub back then. Yeah. Oh, oh, absolutely. All right, First Maccabees chapter one, verse forty-one. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. Oh, yeah, that's new world, new world order. order. Yep. One world government. And now they they're bringing that back in the news now. Yeah, well, this guy has to be here. He has to be here yeah. today. Biden. He might be Biden, you know. He's definitely got to be here. You know? Yeah. Yeah, they're bringing that back in the news. But, <laughs> but this time, the thing is, instead of uh, eating pork and not circumcising your children, yep. you got to take the MOTB. That's it. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. The um, MO. Um, I was a pastor. I put up a video link. To, I forgot the guy's name, but the guy was talking about Richard Werner. He was quoting uh, from Richard Werner's, uh, he had wrote a book, I think it was, or an article. And uh, basically he was saying... You're talking about George Gannon. Yeah. The video I did last night. Yeah, he, he was talking about Richard Werner, which uh, uh, Richard Werner uh, said in the, in the article, either it was an article or a book, he said that there's only one conclusion the central banks are going to go for and that is for everyone to be electronically attacked and it's the same thing that um Aaron, that, uh, Aaron Russo Aaron Russo disclosed to Alex Jones when he had his conversation with Nick Rockefeller the same thing so you guys that are teaching the, the MOTB is uh sleeping with white women or that madness that you teach yeah you, you guys are, you guys are crazy that's man. why their videos, their videos never get taken down they they like they like stuff like that. The Esau and them they like 
madness like that. And they have a you you guys have a very indifferent attitude to one of the most important prophecies yeah. in the scriptures, man. And and the time of Jacob's trouble also. Yeah. yeah. They said the time of Jacob's trouble is gay. I mean, who says that? Well, that's because they have an indifferent attitude. Yeah. So what? Well, what's the big deal about it? That's, that's the time of Jacob's trouble is gay. That was, why, not, why are we really even talking about these guys? Yeah. Go We're on. talking about the ISUPK. Yep, yep. The IUIC is a little, makes a little bit more sense. Come on. Them guys, oh my goodness. And that was uh, Captain Katazar that said that. Yeah, that reminds me. <laughs> break all of the times up. Yeah. And we've seen that before in the scriptures. You had uh, uh, like Jeroboam. The, let me see. There's a scripture where it tells us that Jeroboam took the basis yeah. of the Israelites yep. and made yep. them priests. Yep. In other all words, you gotta do them. is read the whole book of Jews. That's talking yeah. about them. Right? Oh yeah. Yeah. In other words. Yeah, hostate. Yeah, yeah. What you got there? Um it's it's a scripture I guess make light of it. Is I know saying. what you're talking about, but I can't. Yeah, yeah me either. Which is, which is what they, these guys are doing, you know? They, well, they, one that comes to mind, he that put off the evil day. That's an example of that. Yeah, that's that's a good he one. He that yeah. put off the evil day. The evil day is when Esau makes this thing mandatory, man. You think that's going to be a nice day? No. That's what they're going to do. They're going to make it. That's why they burn up all these uh, processing, food processing oh, yeah. plants. There's a thing called... How's it, how's it termed? Um, uh, uh, food as a weapon. Food as a weapon. Right. I mean, they're going to hold yeah, the food back with you. They're going to say, if you don't take this karagma, you, got it? you can't eat. Right. And it's all about control. It's that's all about pro that's programming. Yep, yeah. yeah. programming, that's control. A, that's a good one. Uh, uh, what did the, I think it was Richard Warner again. He said, consolidation. It was three things. Consolidation, when you bring all the people. Well, but wait a minute. You just read that. Antiochus said what? That all the people should be as one? Isn't huh. that what you just read? Yep. Another word for that is consolidation. Look up the word cons consolidate. That's when you bring everything as one, right? Consolidation, uh, control, and I forgot the other one. It was three things. That's what this devil wants. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find that, but there's some the quote that this guy, um, Henry Kissinger made. Oh, military men? Like well, stupid animals? No, that's a that's good, but there was another one. Oh, right here. Kissinger con uh, says, control food and you control the people. Control their, their, uh, their money. Right. You control the people. Money, food. Yep. It said, Kissinger, control oil, uh, quote, control oil and you control nations. Control food and you control the people. Uh, end of quote. U.S. strategy deliberately destroyed family farming in the U.S., and abroad and led to 95 percent of all grain reserve in the world being under the control of six multinational agribusiness corporations consolidation so all they got to do is stop it and if you want to eat you got to do this yep yep so you're gonna have to come to the point of damn near starving that's why it says in isaiah 65 was it saying isaiah 65 my we servants shall eat. my servants shall eat right that's it we don't worry about that we Look, now, should we stack up things? No. If, well, you can stack up some right, things. Right, a couple of years. You, know, you can stack up some things because uh, Paul, Paul's writing, it speaks about they helped some other believers that were in a drought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got to use common sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, if you can get some extra shit, you know? Yeah, some, yeah. Get some if a storm, a major storm comes, what do you do? You stack up on extra yeah. water and yeah. extra yeah. things. Yeah, well, that's In case you don't got to go, go out, in case you can't go out to the house for like yeah. the next week. Yeah. But I guess what I'm trying to say is we don't put our trust in it. Yeah, we right. ain't no big right. thing. Right. Don't be, you know? don't be a prepper. Don't turn into yeah, yeah. a prepper. Right. Right. prepper you Hebrew know? Israelite yeah. prepper. You right. see, I got all this. I got this card paper stacked yeah. to the ceiling. Right. I got 50, 55 bags of rice. Yeah. The, the point is that how about Shimei Shai wants us to totally trust yeah. in them. That's right. the point. Totally trust in how about Shimei Shai. How's it go? Uh, uh, trust ye in the Lord and do not lean upon your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Is that not right? Yeah. Yeah. Proverbs 3 and 5. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got the yeah. definition to consolidate. Okay. It yeah. says uh, yeah. consolidate, make something physically stronger or more solid. Uh, the first phase of the project is to consolidate the outside walls. Well, uh, the way you do that is uh, you bring it together, consolidate. Uh, that's uh, how you control you control by consolidation it's easier to control right 
Uh, definition number two, combine a number of things into a single more effective there you go. or coherent whole. There you go, combine. Uh, all, they give an example. All manufacturing activities have been consolidated in new products. And that's what ESO has been doing ever since uh, America was born, so-called America was born. ESO has been slowly consolidating everything. Remember one time, so-called Americans had farms. They had their family, they had farms in, in, in their families for generations. What happened? The so-called government came in and took over the land, took over the farm, consolidated. When you go back to, uh, it's called the, uh, the Great Leap Forward mm -hmm. out of China, going to time of Mao Zedong. What they did was you had the independent farmers and they said, nope, you gotta be, you gotta work in manufacturing, you gotta work in the factories. And they didn't want it because all they know is farming, rice, whatever else. You know what they did? They cut them off. They killed, I think the number was 70, 70 million. Because the ones that stayed alive, they, they, uh, they agreed, they bowed to the will, you know? And that's what these and they're doing, doing the same thing. All they're doing, like you said before, yeah. all they do is they take a, a page out of history. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it happened during the Hitler's time, let's do that. Yeah. It happened during that time, let's do that. Yeah. And the average person, they don't know what's going on, man. How's that saying go? If you don't know history, uh, you're bound to repeat it, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And the majority of people don't know history. They think what's being done you is trust new. trust your government, you don't know history. Yeah, they think what's being done is new. It's been done in the past, man. Go ahead. They're gonna do. They're gonna do. They're gonna make sure that when they when they implement, they introduce the uh, the, the the MoMA. Yeah, that's a new one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People are gonna line. They're gonna be fighting to get it, man. Oh yeah, MoMA. Oh yeah. And we're gonna be the ones yeah. that's not gonna get it, and they're gonna talk about us like we're crazy. Yeah, demonize us. And it's just like uh, and again, you go back to Daniel. And his men, how his men were demonized. Yeah, it's right? going to be an act of faith, a test yeah. of faith. Hanan Hanan Hananiah, uh, Mishael, and Azariah. Azariah. Yeah. They were demonized by by the king back then because they wouldn't bow down to the king's uh, idol. Yeah. It's the same thing now. Same thing now. Same thing. Go ahead. And, and who did they trust in? And that's the, the test. Man. That's the ultimate test pursuant to uh, Revelation 3.10. And everybody's going to find out that GMS was the group, was the group that the most high was dealing with. Oh, absolutely. When it come, when it, as far as 100% knowledge is concerned. I guess that's Yeah, and, uh, when you read the story, those men were thrown into what? The furnace and fire. And uh, uh, one of, uh, I think the king asked, are you all right? And one of them, no, the king, uh, I might two, have it mixed two, up. Five, yeah. The king looked and he seen, he said, I see three men and I see a fourth one. Right. And he looks like the son of the Most High. So while they were in the fire, they, they, they were walking around in the fire. I think that's where the, 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 the book, the, the Song of the Three Holy Children, yes. came out of that incident. Yep. It's in the Apocrypha. While they were walking in the fire, like kind of like in a circle, <laughs> Yahweh Shai was right there with them, right? protecting them. The, the scriptures say they didn't even have a smell of fire on them. Yeah. So check that out. Yeah, to, to give it a logical explanation, it's a, a force field. Yeah, yeah. Now I got a scripture here, Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So when it when when as the time gets uh, more crucial, we're supposed to what? Trust in these scriptures. We're supposed to trust in these stories. We're supposed to say stuff like, Well, wait a minute, the Lord delivered Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, he will deliver us. Because we're doing the same work that they Daniel did. Daniel in the lion's den. Yeah, yeah, Daniel in the lion's den. We're doing the same work that, that they did. Peter, Peter was uh, uh, the angel uh, delivered him from jail. Yeah. You know? So we're doing the same thing that they did. So we believe Yahweh Shai will deliver us. That's where faith yeah. comes. So let's go back to where we left off in 1st Maccabees 1. We started off at 41, right? Come. We, we don't need a, uh, so, so like a pastor, we don't need an underground railroad like a certain megalomaniac <laughs> said. Hey, look, we got a new thing. <laughs> underground you railroad. Man, like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Well, he's about? trusting in his own heart, man, you know? Oh, underground railroad. He's not railroad. leaning on the most sides, you know, understanding. understanding. Yep. Go ahead, Al. All right, First Maccabees 1, 42. And everyone 
every 41 again. Guys, are getting the sound stupid. That guy's a madman, underground railroad. Why is that in the scriptures, man? Wait a minute, the scriptures say that the, the, uh, the teachers shall not be pushed into a corner anymore. Ooh. But thine eyes shall see thy teacher. Sound like you're going, you, like you're a mole man or something. Let's go hide under the ground. Well, first of all, the, pe the people that's going to be hiding with you are fucking agents and spies. Yeah. yeah. Everywhere you go, they're going to know where the fuck you are. And he said that. He said that, you know, that there's agents in here, spies. What kind well, of leadership is that? He's one of them. This guy has no leadership. Good. All right. It says, moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people and everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. And uh, guess what? King Antiochus is going to do it again. But this time he's going to put that electronic device at you. Look, you got to be all one people. This is a new Bio world order. Biometric device. Yep. This is a new world order. This is a new cashless society. All of you must take this electronic tag. They want to put that chastity belt on you. Then they're going to hire um, actors to push it. They're going to hire well, they rappers. Did that. They did that with the, the jump shot. Yeah. Rappers and, you know, singers, entertainers, comedians. And that shows you that all these rappers, they're all Satanists, man. They all had to get that piece of the devil's pie. They all had to do something. Man. A slice of the devil's pie, baby. Yeah. And you trust, you people trust. The scriptures say they're mad upon their idols. Mm. You trust in these losers. Well, look, Will Smith, he's got all these, they're just fucking movies, man. With loads of special effects. He ain't really, he can't even take care of his, <laughs> of Jada Stick and that crazy. But he's, but he's the, he's Mike Lowry and shit, you know? Mike Lowry. <laughs> you know? He, yeah, well, in the movie, he was Mike Lowry and he was, that's a movie, man. Right. That's entertainment. That's illusion. But that was Hancock. Art magic. That was Hancock. You know? Art Go magic. Go ahead. All right, verse 43. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols. They sold down. Yeah. Like sacrificed unto idols. Like pagan, pagan gods. Like pagan the, the actors, your singers, they all sold out. Yeah. Look, if they're, if they're popular, that means they sold out, man. And profaned the Sabbath. Mm. For the king. Oh, 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 oh. Back up. Yeah. Profane the Sabbath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you profane, profane yeah. the sa Sabbath? Yeah. By defiling yourself on the Sabbath. Right? That's right. So who who, who teaches that? Zakari. Yep. Yep. IUIC. 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 Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised they all teach that crap. Well, even the army of Israel, you know, the army of Israel, they, they teach it. Came against, no, no, oh, they, they came said, against, they okay. At, after we cursed them out. Right, and right. It's always GMS that's got to be the yep. ones that got to rebuke these yep. guys. Uh, yep. we, we like that. And they job. turn back and hate us for yeah. rebuking you. But that's then, what like, Yahweh they, they hate us that rebuke us at the gate. Ooh. Well, that's why they hated Yahweh Shai. Yeah. How many times we read about how they tried to grab Yahweh Shai and throw him off a brow of a hill or throw him off a mountain? Why? Because he was re reproving and rebuking those Israelites that stay going off and they didn't want to hit man so we we're we're in a good stead we're coming in the stead of yahweh shot good okay that says for the king had sent letters by messengers unto jerusalem uh and and the cities of judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land mm. it's going to happen again and it's going to be a new strange law in the land and then that the scriptures is, uh, the law says this yeah, yeah. the law speaks about uh putting cuttings into your flesh Woo! but the average jake people in the church don't know they ain't going to pull that out because yep. they they said the law is done away with it. yep right it's gonna, oh and yep. then the churches you know what they're going to use to get them to take yep. the uh the moma yep what, what, what was that going to go romans 13. boom yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Go, go to the go to that well, well uh they, had well, a video. they did that in the yeah. beginning yeah, 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 remember yeah, he yeah, did yeah, that yeah. he said you supposed yeah, yeah. to and yep. we curse his ass yep. we curse his ass out so much that he stopped doing it yeah Yep. The clergy you know response Yohanna, You know General Yohanna's going to do it, man. Oh, yeah. He's going to oh, bring yeah. that scripture out. That's the go-to scriptures for these pastors. Yep. The clergy response team. That's it. That's it. And m most of your clergymen are uh, masons. They're low-level masons. All, all of them are the... agents. All of them are yeah. sellouts, man. They're all sellouts. Just like you had back then. Go ahead. Uh, Romans 13 and 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. Yeah, look, listen. Either you're sellout or you're not. There's no such thing as, oh, she's a little bit pregnant. 
either the bitch is pregnant or she's not. Yeah. So either you're a fucking sellout or you're not. There's no in between. There's no in between, man. Now you had sellouts that tried to get out of it and what happened to them? They were made examples of yep. Malcolm X, all right, or Martin Luther King. Yep. Two of your good, your, your best examples. I call it Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King, which his real name was Michael. Yep. I think it was Michael yep. King. Father changed his name. Yep. Yeah. After Martin Luther, which, by the way, that's the reincarnation of Bo Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he's Calvin. He's Calvin. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he looked just like Calvin. John Got Calvin. That same fucking big head. Yeah, man. yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Calvin uh, means bald head. Bald head. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. shit. Calvin means both. Yeah, Cal. Skull. Yep. Uh, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of the Most High. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. That's it. And when you get deep in this truth, you understand the Heavenly Father controls both sides. Yep. Good as well as evil. So all these so-called gods Esau is worshiping, like Baphomet, and they really think these gods have their own power. They don't have no, no power. That's an illusion. There's only one power, Yahweh. You know? Who's, whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of the Most High. And that's talking about fighting against them, trying to take them down. Yep. You and know? That's what Paul was saying. Don't, yeah. don't, don't gather a, a revolt against, against the Romans because the Most High put them in, that, in the power. The power yeah. You see many tribes, many Israelites tried, and they were taken down. Well, the only one that's going to take is Yahweh Shai. It's going to take Yahweh Shai and the angels. Yeah. Michael the Archangel is going to, going to be coming with Yahweh Shai. Yeah, because back then that was the beginning of the Roman Empire. We're at the ending of it now. And it was Yahweh Shai who gave him his power. That's yeah. Isaac. Yeah, yeah. Gave him his blessing. So it makes sense that Yahweh Shai is going to be the one to come and take away his blessing. And, and they that, that proves reincarnation right there, vocab. But that's too deep for you. You, you ain't going to get that. It says, and they that and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works. Yeah, like earlier the cop passed passed by here, passed zooming in. Now, if we were a bunch of niggas right, hanging around right. doing stupid shit, yeah. he would have ran us off oh, a long time ago. He just kept going, man. Spirit told, look, don't even mess with these men. Just keep just keep your ass going. Read that again from the top and break Come. it down. Of Romans 13 and 1, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. The higher powers of the Most High. That's right. For there is no power but of the Most High. Right. The powers that be are ordained. Esau. Esau is in his power seat. Right. Because the Most High put him in his power seat. Yep. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. Whosoever therefore resisted the power or tries to take them down. Resisteth the ordinance of the Most High. Because the Most High set, set this man up. Right. Yeah. And he he said, bring him down in his time. That's yeah. it. You know what I want after that? What I want the after that? Uh, no, second, 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 uh, what is it? Second Thessalonians. Thessalonians yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, right, right, right. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. It's true. Well, there's an example, Studis. Yeah, and uh, um, he perished and, and Judas, and Judas yep. in the day, days of the taxes. So yeah. the scriptures give us examples of guys who perished. And how many revolts were there against the Roman Empire that were put down? Oh, yeah. By other nations as well. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. For rulers are not a terror to good works. Like I said, you had earlier, you had this cop pass by in his cruiser. We out here doing the work. He, he just kept going. Yep. But to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. That's why the only time Esau and his media, media they put up in the news is if somebody shot up somebody and the guy had fringes on, he was part of one of the Israelite camps. And that's why we came back and said, what? We said, we don't know this guy. Right. And he's going off. We condemn the act that he did. Yeah. And that's why. said, wait ye upon me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Till I rise up to the threat. And that's why it's so incredibly stupid to have a group posing with fucking guns and shit. You, you, you're putting a black eye on the face of, of the Israelite ministry. That's what you're doing. But we understand why you're doing it. The scriptures speak about spies. It tells us that in Galatians. You know, uh, 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 Judah also speaks about men who crept in unawares, yeah. ungodly men. Uh, these be they that are, are, are central, having not the spirit. So you got to have examples like that in this ministry. And that's those guys. 
for right. good. For he is the minister of the Most High to thee for good. Right, so the white man is the minister of the Most High. Yep. King David said, uh, deliver me from the wicked, which is thy sword. Yep. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. That's his he blessing. The sword is the sword that was given to him by Yahweh. Yep. That's his blessing. That's it. For he is the minister of the Most High, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore you must needs be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. That's it. Um, you read it for so, he bareth the sword. Oh, yeah. the second Thessalonians. Go ahead and say what you got I got, to say. I got, I got a precept to back him up because you just read the birth of the soul vein, right? Five, That's what you read, five, right? Five. Revelation 6, 3 and 4. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him mm. that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. I wonder who that is. Yeah. And that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. Mm -hmm. Given them by Isaac. So what is, yeah, what is John seeing here? He's seeing Esau and his power. Right. And Esau is really going to bring out them horns, man, when, when they, uh, when they're about to set up, totally set up their so-called New World Order, man. Psst. Look, the scriptures already tell us, they shall be as madmen sparing none. none. Um, who was that that said that? Uh, I forgot the woman's name. Well, uh, Linda Thompson said, she said that one of the slogans of the New World Order is expect no mercy. Linda Thompson said that in the in the film um, America Under Siege. Okay, well, that's one film you gotta watch. America Under Siege. Uh. You gotta watch Gulag USA mm. by Tex Mars. Tex Gulag Mar, yeah. USA. This is where it goes into the concentration camps and the, and the torture centers, the thumb screws, and all of that. That's what they got mm. planned for for Israelites that mm. reject the so-called New World Order. It's gonna get real out here, man. Not just roadblocks and and uh, and uh, detention centers. <laughs> Esau is going to be killing, what was it say? Still spoiling and, and destroying, destroying those, those that, that fear the Lord. Lord. Yep. That's it. That's all I got to say. You got that up? <laughs> and, and pursuant to Ezekiel 3 and 17, we're warning you, man. The Lord said, uh, warn them from me. Ezekiel 3 and 17. That's what we're doing. A lot of you, uh, you guys, uh, you, uh, you're, you're fear mongers and uh, you're this and you're that. Well, that's true. We are fear mongers. We're putting fear in your heart. All right, we're fear mongers. Well, that's what the Lord the requires. That, the ones that get the fear in their heart is the ones that may be of the elect and they're yep. going to take action. That's right? true. It's true. Yep. There's going to be a time where the game playing is, is game over. Is over man. So where are we at? Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 5. We'll start at 3. Uh, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. Mm -hmm. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away and first. And how did they fall away? The disciples, the apostles got put to death. Yeah. Uh, John was put on the Isle of Descendants to the Isle of Patmos. And um, the 70 AD took place. That's the falling away. Because they pushed it. What does it say in Luke 21, 24? They were pushed out throughout all the nations. Yeah. They yeah. had to flee. Let, the let, ones that didn't flee got put to death. And the Lord spoke about that. Yeah, an example just came to let no man deceive you because you had guys saying the resurrection is past already. And the Apostle Paul cursed out. It was a Hymenaeus yeah. and Philetus. It was two guys saying, look, the resurrection is past already. Yeah. They were Meanwhile, Israel faith, is still yeah. in captivity. They, <laughs> they were destroying they their faith. Uh, yeah, and they overthrew the faith of some. Yeah. Just like you got now. Today, yep. Same people. Go ahead, bro. All right. That's, That's why you got to know these scriptures. That's what, Well, you can only know it if the Holy Spirit is working with you. It just comes down to that. You know? Go ahead. Let, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, yep. and that man of sin be revealed. I'm talking about right now, the man of sin is Esau. Go ahead. The son of perdition. The son of the, the perdition means destruction. Ain't the one that's going to be destroyed. Go ahead. Who opposes and exalted himself of all that is called the Most High. He's against the Most High. He's against Yahweh Shai. He's against the angels. If I may say, that didn't happen back then because you didn't have iconoclasm. Iconoclasm, that's a perfect example of one who exalted himself right. because in iconoclasm, what did he do? He painted his pictures as God, right, right. the yes. son of God, and yep. the angels. That didn't happen back then. Renaissance period. Renaissance right. period. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High or that is worshipped. Sistine Chapel. Finger of, God. Finger of God. What the hell was that all about? 
pedophilia. The deception. Go ahead. So that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself, showing himself that he is the Most High. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Mm -hmm. And now ye know what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. So really, that's like a message to us now. Yeah, yeah, that's what it seems. Yeah, man, yeah. as you read that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Says, wait a minute. Like they could, they understood it back then, yeah. but not so much as now. Right now, we know the what he means. Things that are written for time are for yeah. our learning. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. That through the script, patience and patience and of the scriptures might have comfort hope. Of the comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Comfort in the, of the scriptures might have hope. Now wait a minute. If, <laughs> if Esau, yeah, yeah. If Esau would have really understood that. Close on this. If Esau really, really would have understood that and know about that, huh. you think the Bible would have been around? They would have burned it all up. Man, come on. They'd lock you up for having the Bible. Go ahead. All right, it says, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let mm -hmm. until he be taken out of the way. Who's going to be taken out of the way? Esau. Esau, the so-called white boy. Mm -hmm. the more, and the most high is going to do it in his time. Right. Yeah. So when you have Jake, when you go back to Romans 13, mm -hmm. Paul said, "Don't get a get weapons and try to take this man right, down because right, you're right. gonna lose." Right. Uh, what's that in Daniel's two? The stone cut without hands. That's it. That's it. Smote the image that's at the, at the feet. That's it. And we're in that time. We're in that time. It says, no, uh, no, no. Uh, yep. It says, and then shall that wicked be revealed, yep. whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of His mouth. With the mouth of the Most High. Right. Right, yep. And shall destroy, destroy. Like if somebody said, Well, I want I don't want to hear from you, I want to hear from the most high. No, you don't want to hear from no, the most you high. Don't want to hear from that the happened most during high. the time they yes. said that to Moses. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when the most high showed himself, they said, No, we're glad to listen to Moses. Speak with us, Moses. So guess what? Who how is the most high speaking to you? Who the men in the most high? Well, how's that going Hebrews? Who's the top man in the most high? GMS. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's it going, Hebrews? Having these last days spoken unto us by the prophets. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, Hebrews. You don't want the Heavenly Father come down and speak to you. You would be dead. Maybe like it is. Go ahead. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. That's them, the, 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 the missiles, <coughs> the lasers, the Lord coming back with the angels. Yeah, the chariots. The war, the war in heaven. Chariots. The chariots. Yep. The laser beams That's of right. fire. That's concentrate right. That's fire. Right. Oh, man. Go ahead. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, Yes. Because that's because the spirit devil. that the spirit that's uh, making this this man move is the spirit of Satan. Yeah. Which goes back to Cain. Go ahead. With all power and signs and lying wonders. With technology. And and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. Deceivableness. The yeah. majority of our people are deceived by this man. His mm -hmm. cities, his technology. Well, yeah. look at his great, how great his cities are. He can't be brought down. Look at how great New York is. What you looking for? You looking for? Well, what, 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 go right blow. over there, real quick. Go right over there, real quick. I was nobody gonna... there. Ain't nobody coming over there. You got computers, and you got this, yeah, and you yeah. got that. Yeah. Many of our people are deceived by this. Yeah, thing. which the Mossad gave this man exactly. all that technology. That's the that's the problem with Jake. Exactly. They think that they think Esau is a, a god because of all that. Uh, it says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, in them that perish. <clears throat> they're not part of the elect. Mm -hmm. Right. Because they they because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. So that's yes. obviously talking mm -hmm. about Israelites. Yep. So the ones of you that knock against this truth, yeah. you're not going to be delivered. You're going right, to be destroyed. Right. right. And you're going to and you're going to take that uh, karate. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You've been deceived by the devil. The right. devil got you. Yep. Like the old saying, the devil got him. The devil got me. Hey, so far, white man, he got you. Like this, got you in his yep. clutches. Go ahead. Uh, and for this cause, the Musa shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they. And the so-called white man's a lie. Everything, yeah. his whole, his whole kingdom is built upon lies, man. If our gospel be here, it will hit to them that are lost, of whom the God of this world, Esau, blinded them. America is a big lie. The Amer they got a saying, the American dream, you have to be asleep to believe it. Yeah. It's a lie, man. It's all a lie. It's an illusion. You got 
<laughs> that illusion mistake word. Yeah, I was so, thinking Go ahead. It says that they all might be damned who believe not the truth. That they all might be damned. It's not talking about everybody. It's talking about Israelites. Right. Paul is focusing on the Israelites. You're going to be damned any goddamn way, Esau. You're going to have East, Edomites that's not going to take it. And guess what? They're going to die any damn yeah. way. Wondering why. Look, I didn't take it. I didn't take it. Well, you were Edomite. Mm -hmm. Eat my dog. Yeah, like um, if I may give another example. Lately, Johnny Depp has been in the news, yeah, uh, fighting against this Amber Heard. Now, this is Johnny Depp, the great movie star. Johnny Depp played all them spectacular roles, and he looks prophetic on that that court stand, trying to fight against some prophetic-looking so-called white bitch. Come on, man. <laughs> Illusion, man. He said he wanted to burn her, bury her, burn her again. That Damn. She, you know. And these them, them people in Hollywood are fucking weirdos. They're losers. They're fucking losers, man. Big time losers. Weirdo they believe losers. in their own bullshit. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Uh, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth. Mm. That's but, why Bruce Lee said, if I may, I don't believe in the word star. Yeah. Bruce Lee was a real one. That's why he got killed. Yeah. He couldn't. He couldn't be around. I can't, you, you can't see Bruce, that all that phony jive from Hollywood, because he was real with his shit. Go ahead. But had, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Well, well some things. Mm. You know, Kendrick Lamar, he came into the truth. He had a taste of the, of the, uh, the, the uh, kingdom of the heaven. Kingdom of to, to come. How's it going in Hebrew? Um, he tasted the word, the good the word, and the, the, the kingdom to come. To come. Con. Yeah, he sure did. Yeah. But he wasn't real. And what he did was he got uh, disenchanted. Yeah, so guess what's going to happen yeah. to him? He's going to take the, the, the chip and his cousin Duckworth. Yeah. He's going to take the chip too. And if and if Nate doesn't come to his senses, right. he's going to cause all his people, them zombies, to take that chip. Yeah, let them alone. They'll be blind leaders of the blind. How wish I said that? If the blind lead the blind, both shall fall in the ditch. Yeah. Taste, the taste of the, mm. of the world to come. I think, to yeah, I Hebrews. thought that was that was in Hebrew. Okay, that's yeah. a six, Hebrew 6. Hebrew 6 or Hebrew 10. It says Hebrew 6. Yeah, let me let me just Mr. get that. Mr. Underground quick. Railroad. What kind uh, of leadership is that, man? <laughs> we got an underground railroad. We ain't gonna tell it, because some of you are in there. You got motherfuckers that probably gave you the idea that underground railroad with your spies anyway. Look, we got it. Go ahead. Have tape uh for it is impossible, uh Hebrew six four. For it is impossible for those who who were once enlightened and have What does it mean to be enlightened? To come into this truth. Yep. To hear this truth and accept it. Right. And to turn back, go ahead. And have tasted of the heavenly gift. Yep. And were made partakers of the Holy Spirit. Ooh. And have tasted the good word of the Most High and the powers of the world to come. The kingdom. Go kingdom. ahead. If they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucified to themselves the Son of the Most High afresh. Yeah, because the Hawish had to be crucified for us to get this knowledge. And basically, he has to be crucified again. Right. And he ain't coming down the no, second oh, time. It's appointed in the man once it died, and after that, the judgment. This this man cried in the Garden of Gethsemane. Uh, what does it say? His, his sweat was like drops of blood. Yep. You, you know think, what that means? I'm sorry. In Hebrew, yeah. he's appointed on the man. He's appointed on the man once it died, and after that, the judgment. He's talking about the Lord died once. Yeah. And then when he comes back, he's coming back with judgment. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. See, and they crucified to themselves the Son of the Most High afresh. And put him to an open shame. Yeah. That's it on that. You got more on that? 13. Verse 13. It's uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 13. But we yeah, are. Remember, if I may say, remember how Peter cried when he kind of put the Lord to an open shame when he denied yeah. him through. Yeah. Scriptures say he wept. He went out and wept bitterly. bitterly. Yeah. So he was. He, he had to be howling, man. But it had to go down that way because the scriptures say, smite the shepherd and the sheep shall scatter. Right? But that gives you a gauge of how uh, 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 put him to an open shame, yeah. you know? All right, but we are bound to give thanks always to the Most High for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because the Most High hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. Whereunto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Yahweh Shah. Yeah, he called us. The wacky tacky uh, Open your heart today and accept Jesus. What are you talking about? The Lord got to come to you, clown. All right. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Yeah, I will share his words. Anyway, with that, we can, we can, we can close it. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.